Yeah, all right, back it up. No, okay, okay, now drop it down real slow. No, not, not like that. No. Master One is the highest rank on Master Duel's competitive ladder, and achieving that rank is not an easy task. Only by utilizing the most optimized and streamlined archetypes can one hope to effectively scale the ladder with a But what if your equipment isn't streamlined or optimized? What if you aren't even using a single archetype, but a cobbled together collection of vaguely similar scrap? How far could you get then? I'm Hardleg Joe, if in you didn't know, and that's exactly what I aim to find out. You see, each month my patrons assign me a different deck, and I see how far I can push it up the Master Duel ladder. This month the Legos have tasked me with operating Earth Machine, a macro-type deck made of several distinct archetypes which all synergize together, mostly because of a shared type and attribute line. The strategy is a bit old at this point, the parts are getting kind of rusty, but with so many Earth Machines to choose from, including some brand new ones, perhaps we'll be able to engineer our way to the top. There's only one way to find out, so grab a snack and lean back, cause it's ladder climb time. And welcome back to Ladder Climb. As the intro said, we are playing Earth Machine this month. Although currently, we're still in the previous month. If you missed last month's episode with Nouvelles, we kinda got stalled out in Diamond 3, which means in a few days when that rolls over, we're gonna be starting in Platinum 5, which kind of sucks. It means that we're less likely to get all the way to Master 1. We've got to chew through two ranks this time to get to the top. But starting at a lower rank means that we have more chance to experiment. And this is the perfect deck for experimentation. Because Earth Machine is one of those decks made of multiple archetypes. You've got Machina or Machina, I'll probably say both. Infinite Tracks, Train slash Railway stuff, Karakuris are technically Earth Machines, Super Heavy Samurais are Earth Machines. We currently don't have the new support, but we know it's coming out later this month. That might get added into this. So we've got a lot of different options to choose from. And looking up other versions of Earth Machine, all the decks are very strange. They're full of like 10 to 20 one-ofs. And while I don't doubt that that's the best way to play the deck, I'm not sure if that's necessarily the way I want to go. I'm more curious in trying out a version that focuses in more on like maybe just the Machinas, or maybe just the Infinitrax, or even like Regulus Turbo. So as such, my first build of the deck is not like an optimized version. Instead, it's a 60 card pile that has everything I could want to play. And what we're going to do is we're going to spend exactly 10,000 gems this month opening up a bunch of packs and just see what we get. So this is going to be an experimental week. Instead of trying to start with a great deck and then modifying it from there, we're going to start with a big clump of all the Earth Machine stuff. And like a sculptor, we're going to slowly remove parts of it until we eventually get down to a 40 card core that has all the best stuff. Before we open the packs though, we first have to get enough gems to get there. We're almost halfway, we're at 4,800, which means we need to get about 5,000 gems. We've got discounted at 25 here, um, buying another $34 will, will get us here, and then we'll have to buy a little pack to get us up there. Shouldn't be too expensive, but I just want to take this moment to be like, hey, it costs me quite a bit of money to, uh, to make a deck every single month for you. So if you enjoy the show and you want to help support this, you can consider joining the Patreon. There's a link down in the description. One dollar gets you on my Discord. We have like a monthly Patreon hangout. You can chat. You can see updates about what's going on. Ten dollar patrons are the ones who actually pick the decks. They got to decide Earth Machine this month, so if you really like the show and you want to do that, you can consider joining at a higher level. And, you know, even if you don't have any money, just subscribing helps, liking the video, doing all that little YouTube stuff that helps boost me in the YouTube algorithm so I can maybe make a little bit more ad revenue, pay some more editors, stuff like that. So, yeah, let's get a bunch of gems and get into the pack openings. Alright, so we're gonna start with Dreadnought Advance. This is the Train slash Infinitrack uh, pack. 
And we need one each of all of these Ixies, the Gustav, Max, the Dora, and the Libe. Hopefully we can get these out pretty clear. We're gonna spend, I think about 4,000 on this and then the other 6,000 on the Machina. So let's hope we get really lucky with our UR pools. I mean, fortunately every UR here is something we need. It's just a matter of hoping we don't get the same ones twice or that this isn't in the master pack half of the pack. Which, if you somehow don't know, I think there's some people who still aren't quite aware, but these secret packs are half and half. The first four cards are from the master pack. They could be literally anything. And then the last four are the specifically the train stuff. All right, here's our purple pack, our chance. Um, we've got one in the right side. The question is, is this the UR or is this one? No, this was the UR, and it's Virtual World Shen Shen. I think I already have one of those, so we can at least break it down. What's this one? Yeah, it's just Barrage Blast. Okay, not looking good so far. Okay, last pack in the pack. Last pack in the set? I think it's a set of packs. Usually this is a UR. Will we get one? No, it's Night Express Night, which is an Earth Machine. But uh, so far, not looking good. We got one UR and it wasn't from the pack. Let's let's try this again. See if we can get a little bit more lucky this time. More, there's no URs here. <laughs> oh, it was a secret purple. It was hidden in the closet. Will this give me the train that I know? It's in the wrong side of the pack. It's not, they're both in there. We got a Punk Z Amen and a Spirit Charmers. Oh boy, just what I always wanted, a charmer. All right, pack number 10. Here's a chance to maybe get one in the final pack. Okay, all right. Hey, there we go. Okay, we at least got one train. At least there's that. That's one less UR we have to craft. Show me all those URs, baby. Let me see, hey, ah, lots of shiny. We got one in the first pack. Gustav Max, Gustav Max, Goost of Max, go. Well, I mean, Dora is just as good. So there you go. You know, it's not quite the one I wanted, but it's close enough. Last chance in this set. They could, oh, it's on the wrong side of the pack. I mean, there's a chance it could be Ruin Force. Could be Ruin Force? No, it's an excess code talker, which I already have. So, uh, UR points. I mean, hey, we'll take free UR points and a boat. Let's go ahead. We got one more chance to see if we can get ourselves a Gustav Max. Do we have what it takes to be the maximum goo? All right, last pack of this. Will we get the Gustav Max? This is our final chance to get it. Oh, hey, we got an infinite track in the other pack. Come on, Gustav. It's just a revolving. Okay, we're gonna have to craft the Gustav Max, which sucks. But at least we got the other two. We got more UR points. Let's, let's, let's end it. We're done with this pack. It's time to go into the Machina pack. We're gonna spend our other six here and see how it goes. Oh, well, hey, there's a surprise Aurora Dom. We got one of them. We won't need more than one, so anything after that we can break down, and who knows, maybe we'll put that in, even though it's a dirty wind machine. Alright, alright, we got a UR. Could be anywhere, could be hiding anywhere in the pack. Could it be the one? No, it's another, it's another Rordon. Alright, last pack of the set. What are we working with? A Sateller, a Synchron, and... Another Unclasper. Well, we've got a whole playset of those now. And two Auroradons, but none of the Machina Citadels or Fortresses that we want. So let's go ahead and try this again. Oh, it's in the wrong side of the pack, unless it's a secret UR. It is a secret UR. It's a pity it's a Draco Sack. We got all the URs we didn't want. Okay, we got another UR. Will it be the Citadel? It's in the proper side of the pack. Come on, Citadel or Fortress? One of the two, just don't give me another Auroradon. Uh, <laughs> we're getting everything we don't want. 
All right, well, I mean, we got a few URs. We got three of them, and two of them were even from the pack. It's a pity they just weren't the only ones we wanted. All right, let's try again. Uh, let me guess, another Draco sack? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alrighty, it's time for more disappointment. Let's go. Oh, whoa, whoa, we actually got a Machina card. Holy shit, I didn't think it would ever happen. Granted, it's only one, but at least we got that one. You're gonna keep that up? We're gonna get the Citadel too? Maybe another fortress? I would, I would be fine with either, you know? Let's see what we got. Okay, a spell book. A thing. And the Citadel! Hey! Things are looking up for old Hardleg. We finally got the cards we wanted. Now we just gotta see if we can get more with the remaining 2,000 gems we got. I'm starting to think maybe we should spend more than 10,000. Maybe 12,000. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Let's, let's try again. Hey! There's the third Citadel! Alright, so we at least got three of that. We already had one, we got two. We should be good. And you know, if, if my plan turns out to be wrong and the machinists suck, we can break them down to buy super heavy samurai stuff. Wow, got a lot of shinies in this one. Two of one of them's even in the right pack. Of course, the only thing we need at this point is Machina Fortress. I don't suppose you'd be willing to give me one of those, would you? No, no, it's the fourth Citadel. <laughs> okay, last pack. Can we get the fortress? I mean, hey, Kamungus is not bad. Let's check it out. Last you are. It's a fifth Citadel. All oh, the Cit- They heard that I wanted the Machinas, and they're like, we'll give you the best one. Gee, Billy, get a whole playset from one pack when I already had one. At least it's not another Aurora Don. Let's go break these down and see what the hell we got, what we're working with. So we've got the deck built. And as I said before, this is like a rough version. What I'm going to do now is go test this in some duels against patrons on stream, which again, if you want to follow me on stream, link down in the description. If you want to be a patron, link down in the description. And then I'll come back next time on another stream and another shirt, maybe even wearing another hat, and we'll have a more refined version of the deck and I'll explain everything in it. All right, Autobots and Decepticons, here we are, stream day one, ready to go. We're in Platinum 5, even though you can't see it up there, and I have a version of the deck to show you. The testing changed quite a lot. But first, I want to do something that I like to do on this show, which is chronicle the history of Master Duel. And in this case, because it's the new year, we're recording on January 2nd at the moment, they've released a new year bundle which is 30 master packs plus a background, I think these are called, and a deck box, all for 2024. Oh, you can't see it because I am, am in front of it. There we go. Yeah, it's thematically 2024 gems, which, I mean, is a fairly good deal. It's essentially buy two, get one free, plus these two, but I'm going to be honest, I, I don't really get this, like, Japanese New Year thing. I can't imagine I'll ever use this background for any deck that I'm playing. Same thing with this deck box, it's like oddly specific. Either way, that combined with the fact that it's only master packs means this is something I normally wouldn't buy. I would not recommend buying it unless you just really like the theming. But I'm streaming this on Twitch and a nice gentleman by the name of Slash Slash X tipped me $35, which is how much it costs to get about 2,000 gems. So I'm just gonna, head, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. As always, I'll remind you there are time codes below, so if you're not interested in seeing me open 30 master packs to see what we get, you can skip ahead to the deck profile or just jump into the duels, whatever makes you comfy. Otherwise, let's see what we get out of the master packs, which if you don't know somehow, these contain pretty much every card released. It's like 8,000 of the 10,000 cards in this game are in here. Uh, so your chances of getting anything decent are pretty low, but we'll see. Oh, we got one more UR to round it off. Will it be something good? Well, honest. I think I already have three honest. I think I crafted those for something else. I could be, I could be wrong, but... 
Overall, not bad, you know? We opened 30 packs and we got seven URs? That's not too bad, and one of them happened to be something that's getting banned in a few days, so... Currently, again, it's January 2nd. The 10th is when the ban list goes in. This will be knocked down to one, which means I can break this down and get a full refund on that. And then I can break this down because it's in a structure deck. I can break this down because I have four of it. And this because I have three. So I just got a whole bunch of UR dust. Not bad. Not sure if it was worth the $23, but at least it was a fun experiment. Now let's get to that deck profile. All right, so here we are with the Earth Machine list. And just right off the bat, I want to say if you're an Earth Machine enthusiast, I'm sorry. I'm not playing the standard build, at least to start with. We might go to that later. But for now, I wanted to go off the rails and try something a little bit different. And that's because the standard Earth Machine list is really kind of weird. The whole philosophy behind it is playing like 21 of cards that all search themselves out of the deck. And what you're trying to do is dump half of your deck into the graveyard or onto the field and then draw two cards at the end of a long combo so that hopefully with all your in-engine pieces out of the deck, you will draw into really strong like tech cards, either hand traps or just regular traps or some board breakers, stuff like super poly might be really good in this, which doesn't really feel like the earth machine spirit, and it's also kind of weird that oftentimes you're ending on like an Anger Knuckle or maybe just like a Dora Pass or something like that. Or maybe a Regulus, which is a negate, but it's not a very strong negate. I have no doubt that that version of the deck works. And again, we will try it later on if this doesn't end up doing so well. But I wanted to try something different. I wanted to break out of the mold. And this is what I came up with. This is basically a build that can go first but is more adept at going second. If we do go first, what we want to do is end on Machina Citadel and Machina Ruin Force. If you don't know, Citadel is a pretty nice card. It has a quick effect to target a machine you control, destroy it, and all monsters your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to it. So this already has 3,000. It can destroy itself and basically Raigeki the entire field, unless they have a bunch of stuff over 3,000. But if you combine that with Ruin Force, this is a 4600. So not only will you Raigeki the entire field, you'll take care of everything, but this floats when it's destroyed. It summons up to three banished Machina monsters whose levels equal 12 or less. And you've got to banish Machinas to get this on the field in the first place. So the idea is going first, we're going to have a quick effect Raigeki that'll float us into like a Machina Fortress or maybe another copy of Citadel. Either of these two, plus this Unclass Barre that can dump something into the graveyard to set us up for next turn. And then next turn, because we're playing so many like level 10s, like this is a 10, this is a 10, we've got the rank 10 trains, I've got three of the flying Re uh, Pegasus Railroad Stampede. This can revive a monster from the graveyard and then turn itself and that monster to the same level. So they can both become four since this is a level four, or more likely I'll bring back one of these and they both become 10 and then we do rank 10 train shenanigans, just OTK out the wazoo. So that's my main strategy and then the Vernaselfs are just here to help support it. These are really good at reviving earth monsters out of the graveyard. So once we get a Citadel into rotation, we can bring it back and that should be easy because we're playing three of it. We can discard it with stuff like Forbidden Droplet. We can discard it to summon Fortress or whatever. And this also revives itself out of the graveyard if an earth machine monster is destroyed. So you've got some floating recursion and stuff like that. But more importantly, this can also summon back the Flying Pegasus Railroad, which again just gets you into your whole rank 10 engine. That's it basically, it's just Citadel Turbo and then going into rank 10s, combining that with stuff like Forbidden Droplet, the Triple Tactics Thrust Package. It can search out our one trap going first, We've got Raigeki and Harpy's Feather Duster to search as well. And it can also get us the Machina Redeployment, which is discard a card, search two Machinas. So I can discard again, like a Citadel, get it into the graveyard and get two cards. There's a lot of neat little combos and everything. So that's the basic premise of it. And I'm thinking we'll be able to tear up Plat even with something like this. And then as we get higher, we'll make changes. We might add other Earth Machines. We might add in the Super Heavy Samurais when those come out. 
And if nothing else, we can always fall back on the standard Earth Machine build if this doesn't end up working. That's enough explanation. I think I've got it down. Let's jump into the games and see how this works. All right, here we are, duel number two. If you're wondering why I didn't show the first one, we, we got hit with Kash Tira Rise Heart, and uh, we, can't, we can't win to a Macro Cosmos. If they shut down the entire graveyard, that turns off like almost all our effects. And it's another Kash Tira down. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I was saying in that last deck, our last duel, I was like, if we get Raigeki, if we can Raigeki the Arise Heart, then we, we, we could just get out of it. And uh, now we have the Raigeki, so we're good. All right, they didn't even get to the, the Arise Heart, so now we're, we're doubly good. Ooh, and this is a nice hand. This is a nice hand indeed. Okay, so we're gonna activate the redeployment. We're going to discard a card. Get two. I'm not even going to use my Raigeki on this. Why would I care? Max C, go right ahead. Max C, all you want. Okay, and then... I think we just got game here, actually. We're going to get... This... And we're going to get one of these. Yeah. Then before I activate a monster effect, I'm going to go ahead and Forbidden Droplet, and we're just going to send this to the graveyard. Because we want it there. And just cut that off. Because this is actually a deck where if they tear one card out of my graveyard, I might be in trouble. I forgot about the birth! Oops! Yeah, banishing three cards out of my graveyard kind of sucks. That's fine. We could we could still do it. We still got it. Normal summon this. Let's activate this. Choo-choo. Bullet train. If you control an earth machine, you could do it. Your effect is negated. And then we activate this. We target a level 10. We make both of them level 10. And now that we've got two level 10s, we can make Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max! Big gun. Biggest gun. Okay, they have impermed it. So I think we can't OTK now. Which is unfortunate. But we can make Leva. We'll detach that for now. It becomes 6,000. And then we just run over. And then we make Zeus! Kashtira can't play through Zeus. They're fine! They're fine! And look, this is a machine. It's not an Earth machine. It's a light machine. But it still counts. Okay, now this makes Barone, so I have to do this now. Attach these two. Goodbye, field. Now granted, they've still got a full hand of six cards. Thanks, Maxi. They can Fenrir, yeah, Fenrir gets rid of stuff. And this in my hand with nothing else in the graveyard sucks. Oh wait, I can get Pegasus back. Oh, and their triple tactics. Okay, so they don't have six cards, they have eight cards. Oh, why thank you. Filling up my graveyard with more cards? I appreciate it. And they hit the trap, which lets me recycle my banished cards. Alright, I'm not dead yet, unless this is the trap and they can summon during the battle phase. All right, we might as well do this. We can get back Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. And we can go Machina Overdrive. Just get my Banish stuff. I guess we'll just put Zeus back. Put the whole extra deck back and draw a card. I can do it again, baby. Not useful, necessarily. Okay, so this time we can clear the board if we have Raigeki. 
And what do you, what do you, what do you know? This is the right Becky right there. Hey, how's it going? Your opponent activates a spell and you control a Cash Tira. I think this won't work because they won't control a Cash Tira at resolution. Solemn judgment, are you kidding me? Son of a bitch! I wanted to and God said no. If I try to goose off, they'll just spin it back with a rise heart. I gotta find some way to bait it out first. I have an idea. It just might be stupid enough to work. We have to lose this. This is only once per turn. Yeah. Okay, so this thing, if it battles, I can... And it's sent to the graveyard. I can target a card my opponent controls and destroy it. So if they don't know about that... Uh, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, we just gotta hope our opponent's a dumb dumb. Use it! You're gonna get destroyed if you don't! Use that effect! Yes! They fell for the paint chat! High risk, high reward maneuver pays off! Oh, and when they target me, I get to look at their hand and uh, put something into the deck. There you go. Alright, so they get the cash tier up. This doesn't do anything. Main phase two. Normal summon Pegasus. Activate. Summon back the Super Express train. Why can't I, why can't I activate the effect? You cannot declare attacks the turn except with Ixies. No! The attack didn't even go through. I got so far and I got so hard, but in the end I was just far and hard. It didn't do anything, chat. All right, we're on duel number four. Things have not been going well so far, but you know, I've got hope. It's like they say, hope dangles on a string, like slow spinning redemption, winding in, winding out. Let's send the Pegasus. Let's add these two. Yeah. Go ahead and summon this. This will put the level seven into the grave. Normal summon. Activate. We'll go ahead and add. We're going to summon by discarding. We're gonna be angry about our knuckles, chat. And then we'll go ahead and we'll activate this. We'll discard the railroad stampede. We'll add this from our deck to our hand for next turn. And that will allow us to special summon the Citadel. We'll set a card, and I think that's it. It doesn't look like much, because it's not. But we have the ability to quick effect Raigeki, our opponent. Yeah, it was either that or we could have brought back the Railroad and we could have made a Dora in defense mode. 4,000 defense that can be unaffected, but then if they uh, Kaiju us, we're just completely screwed. Granted, they've got the God Field, the God name. We could get hit by Sphere mode. All right, Lightning Storm. Raid Raptors, okay. Fuzzy Lanius, so now you're locked into Raid Raptors. All right, now that you've got more than me, let's go ahead and urgently schedule some stuff. We'll summon one level four lower and one level five or higher. And then I think it's best to just like keep them from getting any searches. Blow up the train and everything they control. And there you go! It's that easy! 
Two attack. Two attack. Let's normal summon this. Special summon it in defense. Its effects are negated, but that's fine. We're just bringing this back so we have a level 10. Activate. Target a level 10. Both become level 10. And we do the train OTK. Gustav Max coming down. Hopefully we don't get effect veilered this time. 2,000. And then we make the big choo-choo. We make the choo-choo. Woohoo! I need to activate the effect. It would help if I activated the effect. 6,000. And there we go. Oh, they're not gonna let me attack. Okay, we finally get a win. It's been a rocky start here so far, but I like to believe we've just been getting unlucky with our duels and our hands and everything. We're gonna keep going with this version to see if we can get more train OTKs. All right, one more win and we rank up. Things have started off a little slowly, you know, we weren't doing very good at first. However, I think we can fix this, chat. I think all we need to do is get the right headwear. Hard leg Joe is no more. Now I'm a hard hat Joe with all my go second staple cards. That's fine, that's fine, we're fine, I'm fine. It's okay, everything's okay. Easiest victory yet! They saw what we were engineering and they knew from the blueprints that everything was fucked. There you go, ladies and non-ladies. We get our hundredth point in the dual pass and we get ourselves up at the platform. All right, so, so far we're not doing too terrible. I mean, we're winning more than we're losing, but we're having a rougher time of it than I expected. And that's because I underestimated how jank Platt was going to be. Like, yeah, we are facing a couple Cash Tira decks, but there's things all over the place. And I'm finding that a lot of my tech cards aren't very useful, and going first in general isn't as useful as I would like. So instead, we're just gonna go for like a hard go second build. We're just gonna try to play into it. So we're taking out Triple Tactics Thrust, the Tactics Talent, the Raigeki, Feather Duster, and instead we're just playing three Lightning Storm, and I threw in another train. This gets us to 40 cards and just makes us a big like OTK powerhouse going second. I think this might stand a better chance of plowing through than the go first variant did because we're really not having to sit through a whole bunch of combos like I thought we might. So this is Earth Machine Mark II. We're going for big punch trains with the Machina still there. Let's see if it works out. Uh, okay, we're choosing to go second this time. All right, goaties, are we playing against the goats? We open with Oom Class Bar, which is not great, but going second with Urgent Schedule is great. It is goaty. I'm not gonna activate Maxi here. I think it'll be more effective on my turn. Goaties, such a fun deck, but it loses so hard to Maxi. Okay. Yo, what up? How's it going? Oh, they had the Ash. I didn't think about that. They won the minigame. I'm not playing Ash in this deck, so I forgot you had it. And if you're wondering, the reason I'm not playing uh, I'm not playing Ash is because usually you can just OTK through Max C. It's not as big of a deal here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's grab one of these and one of these. Bada bingo. Bada bango. You get that big summon animation even though it doesn't do anything. Yeah, we just train here. It's choo choo time. They're thinking. They're cooking something up. There's Ariampos. Dominos. We'll go ahead and Forbidden Droplets. We'll send this to the graveyard, and we'll send this. And you cannot chain your goatee to it, so that'll stop them from getting their plays underway. Plop, plop. 
Sadness is a way we all live, but you know, you gotta, you gotta put up with it somehow. That to the grave. The big choo-choo. Choo-choo! Chugga, 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 chugga. Yeah, let's attach this. 2,000. You shan't be synchro material this time. Into this. And then, we summon the Ruin Force. We will ruin them. He didn't get a summon animation though, because no one really likes Ruin Force. Okay, battle phase. And I think this is probably it. I didn't even need to do the burn damage. I just wanted to pop a card, really. And there you go. I beat my favorite deck. It, feels, it fills me with shame. I don't like to have had done it, but you know. Machines have no mercy. All right, this is not a great hand, but it's not a bad hand either. I mean, we got Lightning Storm against the Labyrinth player. Storm? Storm. We're gonna storm. Two of them things? I mean, if you insist. Hello there. Those are some nice back row you have. Be a shame if they died. You're not activating Welcome Labyrinth. I was really expecting you to, and then I would draw, and then the urgent schedule would go, but instead it's not. Okay, we're gonna get this. Even though it doesn't get us Ruin Force into the graveyard. It's more important, it gets more damage on. Droll and Lock. Okay, well, I mean, that kind of sucks, but it doesn't really stop everything that we wanted to do. Because this doesn't search. This sends. So I can use this, and if we're going to be locked anyway, I can just send the Citadel. And then I'll attack for 32. Now let's... <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna I'm about to be hit with like the world's least productive evenly match. End of battle? Okay, they're not doing it. Yeah, I think genius is the call here because it's unaffected by spell traps. Oh wait, no, Anger Knuckle can get that into the grave. Yeah, let's go for Anger Knuckle. Genius doesn't set up Ruin Force. This sets up Ruin Forest, which is what I kind of want to do. When the knuckle is anger! Ku Clock. And this. I guess we maxi here just to get the draw back. Go for the lady. Another one. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. If this set card is sent from the field of the graveyard, add one level 10 machine. I mean, if you insist, I'll take one of these. Putting that back, all right. Please run over the anger knuckle. Oh, they're going for it. They lack critical information, chat! They're like, all I gotta do is destroy the Anger Knuckle. Not quite. Hello there. Nice to meet you. My name is Machina Citadel. It'd be a shame if you had some kind of a uh, trap that you couldn't activate if you don't control a fiend. Because now you don't control a fiend. Unfortunately, I'm realizing now that uh, I don't think I could do anything. I don't have a fortress in the grave. Oh, I have something in the grave. I have Anger Knuckle in the grave. Uh, let's go ahead and just pop this back row to let them lose all hope. Goodbye, hope. And there we go. That's how you beat the labyrinth. Welcome to the labyrinth. Hey! Oh, hello, Labyrinth. Unfortunate draw. But we're fine. Lightning Storm! 
All the spells and traps are dead! Wait, what are they- why are they setting a trap? It's gonna get destroyed immediately. Set waking? If they set waking, they're- they're a huge brain genius. Okay, it's not waking. Good. Most good indeed. Good, skill drain! And then we'll activate urgent schedule. So we're gonna put this and one of these in the grave. Oh, well thank you. I appreciate you not taking something out of my hand. That could have been very deadly. Oh, uh, this effect is negated, so there's no point. Okay, Doki chat. Ready to see something funny? Let's go ahead and normal summon this first. Activate the effect. This isn't part of the shenanigans. This is just something I'm doing while I'm here. Just might as well, you know. Let's go ahead and do a searchy search. Let's go ahead and get one of these for next turn. If there is a next turn, which I suspect there won't be. So what we're going to do is we're going to summon the Machina Fortress by putting the Citadel in the grave. And then we're going to activate redeployment just so we can get that into the grave. We'll add another one of these. I just want a lot of I just want a lot of stuff in the grave. And then we're going to get Ruin Force by banishing this and the Unclasper. Then we go to battle phase. So what we're going to do is we're going to ram our fortress into this. Ouch. That did some damage. But when that's destroyed, I get to destroy a card my opponent controls. And then I get to summon out the Citadel. Well, hi there. Then the Citadel... Well, first of all, let's go and attack over this. 46 over 29. Let's go ahead and activate this effect. Blow up the Ruin Force to get those. That'll trigger the Ruin Force and allow us to summon back this. Then we go in for 18, 23, and 30, 30, 30. There we go. Bada bingo. Machina OTK. You don't even need the trains. All right, the train whistle is blowing once again. We're back knocking at the door to Platinum 3. Can we get in there? Will we face another Cash Tira, or will we be able to engineer a victory? Okay, once again, we open with Lightning Storm, Redeployment, Forbidden Droplet. You know, it's a pretty good combo. Pretty good uh, measure of things. You've got to be shitting me! <laughs> Every time with the Cash Tira, they're there, they're gatekeeping me. They're girl bossing me. I just, I just want to OTK. Why is Platt so much cash? It's not even like playing the other version of the deck would really help, especially in this situation. Like if I'm going second with the other version of Earth Machine, like, that deck is even more fragile because it doesn't play stuff like Lightning Storm or Forbidden Droplet. I don't know, the problem is, right, the thing you use to beat Cash is like Book of Moon and Book of Eclipse and stuff. Or maybe Kaijus? I guess I could play some Kaijus. There are Machine Kaijus. There aren't Earth Machine Kaijus, but whatever. The problem with that is that, like, you flip something face down and then Fortress or Citadel can't get rid of it. Fortress can't run into it. You can't do the damage with the trains. You really don't want to be running something like that. So I've got to think of some other way to out the Arise Heart. Just summon an attack mode. Come on, get cocky. You don't know. Yes! Attack mode Arise Heart! It's everything I hope for. It's everything I need. I mean, this is going to be hard to get over. I really, I really wish I could use this to clear the back row. 
that's fine. What are the chances they play Solemn Judgment? Get out of here. I don't want to have to deal with you. Okay, good. Good, it worked out better than expected. Okay. We want to make sure the redeployment goes live. So we do this for Un Class Bar, and we see if this gets hit with, like, an Ash. We know the Big Bang was equipped, so, yeah, in perms likely. Um, it has attack and defense, right? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah. Attack only? Oh. Well, it's fine. And then hopefully they'll activate this now. We'll get this. Go ahead, use birth. Yeah, you know you want to, baby! Alright, so now it's just the other unknown. And it's the trap. Ogre, interesting choice. I guess it has the most attack. Okay, I think we want to send... Eh. No. Yeah. And then they get to lock down another zone. Yep, they got the one uh, the, the, the citadel. They don't know that I play three citadels! They're trying. Will you stop activating that? You're negated! What zone was in perm in? I'm a little confuzzled. Where'd the bubbles go? Inperm didn't resolve. Oh, good point. So we send this. Summon out Fortress. Fortress clears a little room. I think we go for Genius. Then we activate Fortress by sending Citadel. Because Fortress is not once per turn. We're going to use this. And we're going to negate Fortress and Wraith Soap. So everything's attack goes down. And then we're going to summon... Uh, nah, we just go for Anger Knuckle. Anger! Then we can go this. We'll get rid of you and you. Oh, and you too, I guess. Hello there! Battle phase. Uh, this is the one keeping everything down, right? I need to unlock some zones. That doesn't activate. Mistakes have been made. Oh, that's fine, though. Crunch. Summon Citadel. Hello there! Nice to meet you! Uh, yeah, let's activate this effect. Pop, pop. Watch him, motherfuckers, drop. Activate Ruin Force. Summon back. Summon back. Eighteen. Twenty-five. Thirty. It's not quite game. It's pretty close to game, but it's not quite game. We'll equip the gear frame to you. And we'll set. We have to pop the birth. I don't think I have a way to pop the birth. Other than making, like, Mecha Phantom Beast or Roar on. But that's probably not worth it. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we might have actually done it. Gotta wait and see. Add a cash to your monster, all right. Unicorn. Normal summon unicorn. Yeah. They have no banish. They yes! Yes, we finally beat the cash tira. Da da da. They didn't have any cash in hand. Da da da. We got it in machine of land. Oh oh oh. Platinum three, ba a a a b. Woo! Wait, stuff went to my gift box. Do I have too many? Do I have too many Arby's gift cards again? Am I overloaded? Well, I guess we're gonna take a little break and open up a hundred Arby's gift cards. So you know, we got we got that while we're here.
Alright, so let's take a little break to do more pack openings. People seem to really like the pack openings. They can't get enough of that uh, vicarious... Uh, I want to say cannibalism, but it's not. Gambling. For some reason, I got gambling and casino and got to cannibalism. I'm thinking of Fallout. Do Vegas. But anyway, I was like, we'll go open up some of these. And then I didn't realize I had Duelist Cup rewards that I, I haven't opened yet. Might as well do these two. They're equally useless. I'm not even gonna... We'll just skip them all. What do we got? Acid Golem? That'll be good if I ever play Makanko, I guess. I don't know why they give away the most useless cards for the Duelist Cup. It feels like they should be celebrating, like, meta decks. So why not give away meta cards? I don't know. And then the Legacy Packs. I've long stated how useless these are. I call them Arby's gift cards. If you don't get the joke, I hate Arby's. If someone's handing me an Arby's gift card, they're essentially saying, Here, you throw this away. <laughs> and that's what these feel like. They feel like garbage. Huh. It's like uh, that other card at home. That link that lets you attack twice. Alright, we'll just open up a couple more. I got 200. It's a real challenge to see if you can get anything useful from these. And you can't even break them down. Yeah, 101 you are. Antitopian. Of which I already have four, so now there's five of those things. Let's do a hundred more? Sure, what else can we get? Eh. A digital bug that I already got in the story mode? This is something I always feel like might be useful at some point, maybe. Let's go ahead, there's another hundred. What do we got? Roll them up. Not even a UR. Am I guaranteed a UR in my next 100 since I didn't get one this time? One more. We've spent 500 of these. Did we get anything we can use? No. At end of the line, which is a funny card. If your life points are lower than 100, draw 2. If your life points are lower than 10, draw 4. <laughs> But there you go. The story of the Arby's gift cards continues. Their legacy is of being useless. Let's get back into the duels. All right, if we can engineer one more win, we can end this in plat two, and I'm hoping we can climb up there fast. We've lost another coin toss, but it doesn't really matter because we've been winning a lot despite. In fact, our, uh, our tails are lining up with our wins. The more coin tosses we lose, the better we do. And this is an interesting hand. Anytime you get Forbidden Droplet, you're... Oh, no. All right, then. Let's start with this. Let's go ahead and send the Citadel to the graveyard where it belongs. And let's add... You know, fuck it. Let's just go... Let's go ballin'. Uh, we'll get Fortress, Ruin Force. Let's go ahead and Special Summon the Ruin Force. Or Special Summon the Fortress. Normal Summon Gear Frame. Gear Frame, activate the effect. Get uh, Un Clasper. Un Clasper effect. The only thing we have to fear is werewolves. Werewolves in the deep, chat! Let's send another one. And then... We need to get one more in the grave. So, let's do what we said before. Let's make Clifford Genius, which is unaffected by spell traps. So, even if they Mirror Force, at least this will survive. I'm expecting the Mirror Force, though, which is why I'm doing Ruin Force. That way I can negate whatever they activate in the, the battle phase. Maybe we'll actually be able to resolve this. If not, we've got more we've got more damage than their life points can handle. They're thinking. They got something they can activate. What are you cooking up, boss? You wanna throw a wrench into my plans? You wanna grind my gears? You wanna get fucked by a cactus? That one doesn't have to do with anything. It just sounds like something that someone with that voice would say. No! Synchro Zone! Ugh. Continue your main phase? Yes. Yes, I will. Genius, target this and that and negate them, please. I would like very much to attack, if you don't mind. 
Now we go to the battle phase. Fuck you. <laughs> Glad I made genius. I'm a <laughs> genius. Oh, flashing fire. Which effect did they activate? Oh, wait, they haven't chosen yet. Target one special summon, destroy it. Uh, no. No, I don't think I want to allow you to do that. So negate, and then have their life points. What a powerful effect. That's kind of nutty. I love that where it's like, negate and destroy? No. Negate and saw their boat in half. No amount of flex tape will help them now. And with that, we got our way up into plat two, where we're doing pretty good. We had a little bit of a rocky start here at the beginning, but we're, we're making our way downtown. I think that's gonna be it for this stream, but we'll be back with the next stream. Maybe I'll do a little climbing off camera. Maybe I'll tweak the deck a little bit, and we'll see what we can come up with next time. 12 seconds later. Swords of Revealing Light. <laughs> This is the guy they made the ban list for. He's like, I can't believe Konami would attack my deck. It's just a little guy. It's just a little guy on my birthday. Why would they take away one of these, two of these, one of these, and one of my inspector border? I can't use card of demise anymore. Pot of dualities to one. How am I supposed to compete against a big summoning deck? All right, here we are, dawn of the second stream. And I actually did some grinding off camera. I did some off stream duels. Ooh, ah, and they, uh, they didn't turn out very well. As you can see, we're back down into platinum three. We got knocked down and our win rate is now 50-50. And part of that is because I tried to change up the deck despite the fact that this episode hasn't come out on YouTube or even the VODs haven't been uploaded yet. I was already getting like messages and pings and seeing stuff, people complaining about the last deck, specifically the Verna Sylphs. There's a lot of Earth Machine players who just absolutely hate them and think I'm an idiot for trying to play them. So I tried to make a version of the same like rank 10 focused deck without the Verna Sylphs and it did even worse. I also tried to throw in some synchros and stuff. So this is the Mark III that you don't even get to see because it didn't didn't work like hardly at all. So I got tired, I messed with a couple other builds that only got like one or two duels and didn't actually do anything. And then I decided to just go ahead and make the standard Earth Machine build, or at least as close to it. There's no like entirely standard, but there's a standard play style. So what we're going to do is go through a combo that hopefully puts all of our engine pieces into the grave, which will set us up for next turn. And then we're going to draw two specifically by putting back all the link monsters. So no extra cards are going to go into our deck and all our deck is going to consist of at that point is going to be like maxi effect veiler, called by Ash and uh, Urgent Schedule. And so the idea is we will draw two of those cards and that'll act as the disruptions. And between that and hopefully we should be able to end on like a Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon, uh, maybe a Therion King Regulus, maybe the ability to summon Machina Citadel, and that'll be enough to stun them for a turn and then on the next turn, we'll have enough resources to just overwhelm them with rank 10 trains and big machine monsters on the next turn. I honestly don't think that this playstyle is all that good. The idea of like the purpose of the deck being to draw non-engine cards, just kind of like, uh, it, do it doesn't feel like you're playing Earth Machines. It feels like you're playing hand traps and this is just a way to facilitate drawing more hand traps. But this is how they work. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe I'll be able to figure it out. Maybe I won't, but there's only one way to find out. Let's take this deck back on the ladder, see how it works out. All right, we get to go first, which is what we want to do here. Um, this is not great, but it is doable. We've got this. This is something you want to search off of, like, urgent schedule if you can help it. Okay, max C. We're gonna use the Ash Blossom on that. We're gonna save the called by for if they have an Ash of their own. Yeah, and this can be useful for outing Floodgates. If it's in the graveyard, you can bounce a uh, spell your opponent controls to the hand. Spell or trap. But we're gonna tribute that. We're gonna summon the Infinite Track Brutal Dozer. And then we're going to make 
I think we want to get Harvester. Either way, this works. No, we oh no, no, it doesn't. We have to go specifically for this one. So then we're gonna make River Stormer. Storm their rivers! To activate this effect. Well, let's show off the draw two combo. So we get this. Add it to your hand. No, we want to send it to the graveyard. And then we're gonna use this in the graveyard to summon it back. Howdy howdy. And then this will search us a thing. Let's go for Road Roller. Okay, so we can use this to make Infinite Track Goliath. There's one. Then we can activate this. We tribute a Machine Link to summon this from the graveyard. And then when this leaves, we can attach it, but we don't want to attach it. An Earth Machine was tributed, so we summon this. We're going to activate this. We're going to tribute off the River Stormer. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, we go for that, although I think that banishes it. Yeah, unfortunate. There's two Goliaths, and then we use these two Goliaths to make Archer. Or Ballista, rather. Ballista will search the Ancient Gear box. And then Box, when it's searched, lets us search a monster with 500 uh, attacker defense. But unfortunately, that's all the uh, Infinitrax have 500 attacker defense, and we don't have all the Infinitrax now. So there's not much we can do. We got one, two, three. So what we want to do is make Anger Knuckle. And now we're going to do the draw two Skidoo and hope we draw something good. So we'll hit that in one, two, three, four, five. All extra deck moss monsters getting shuffled back. All right. We got heavy forward, which I believe doesn't search anything. Oh, wait, it does search something. Um, I guess we'll see what we get real quick. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything. Yeah, it's just another harvester for next turn. Yeah, and so this is what I was kind of worried about. Maybe, maybe there's something we can do from here. But all we did at this point was uh, a long combo to draw nothing. <laughs> Strongest end board, Anger Knuckle plus Called By. To be fair, we didn't start with like our one card starter. We started with like a weird hand. But I mean, when you're playing 15 one-ofs, that's bound to happen. Um, yeah, we just want to keep them off of getting cards. We'll just do that now. Okay, so to be fair, if they don't OTK us, this is like a big combo. This is a big combo piece. We could do a whole bunch of stuff with just these two. Plus whatever we draw. If they don't banish this, we can bring it back. So we've got link material. What's the win condition? It's what I would call a stun deck, which stun has kind of changed its name after a while. But to me, there's like, so a lockdown deck is about ensuring that your opponent can't play. Oftentimes, combo decks are a form of lockdown deck. If they make more negates than you have plays, then you've been essentially locked out of the game. Something like Dark Samorg with uh, anti-spell fragrance that just kept you from summoning any monsters. A stun deck... I always think of like, there's this old quote from like an old kung fu movie, I think. A true master paralyzes the opponent, leaving them helpless for the final strike. The idea that like, if you want to defeat your opponent, you need two moves. One to stop them from moving, and then one to kill them. And that's a stun deck to me. A stun deck is not repeatable, it's not a complete lockdown, but what it can do is slow your opponent down for one turn, and then on the follow-up, OTK them. There's a lot of decks that sort of have that potential. And that's what this is supposed to do, is you're gonna do a first turn play that's gonna hopefully give you one or two hand traps, one or two disruptions, with enough setup for next turn that you're gonna be able to make Juggernaut Libe and just punch them for a million attack. You don't need to stop them from playing forever, you just need to slow down that turn enough to kill them on the next turn. So mid-range? No. Mid-range is something like Salamangrate. I guess old-school Salamangrate would be a better example. Before Access Code Talker, when they couldn't OTK you, 
what they would do is basically, like, I can get one counter trap every turn, and that's a one card combo to recycle it. So what they would do is play, like, a bunch of one card starters, hand traps, and every turn you could reliably put on two disruptions, a hand trap and a counter trap. Okay, we're not dying here. That's good. And their whole thing was like, yeah, they can't out-resource you, they can't, um, kill you in one turn or lock you out of the game, but they can just keep negating one or two cards every turn, and if you can't kill them through that, you won't be able to survive. Do they have any disruptions at all? It doesn't look like it. They can use Rugal as a quick effect to summon something back, and they can stop one thing from being destroyed. If they can use, this is one, two, three, four... If they can make um, Shureg now, then they can trigger it on their turn with the Rugal. So they might have a quick effect banish. But yeah, so a mid-range deck would be one that just has repeatable removal every turn. Repeatable disruptions. Alright, that's a pretty good top deck. If they were hoping to get anything, the question is, what makes the best... Do we have anything that makes great use of that? Not really. So we're going to Normal Summon Harvester. Summon the train. And they're going to make it so it can't be destroyed by card effects. Alright, chat, are you, gonna, are you ready to see one of the weirdest plays that this deck can make? So, the Infinitrax, if you don't know, they're a really weird Ixy deck. Their Littler monsters have the effect, where they can target one other Earth Machine monster, and then both this card and that card gain their combined levels. Normally with like the level fives, you know, you'll target one of these. Five plus two, they both become seven. But if you've got a rank 10 train, you can target this and they both become level 12. And you're like, what, what level 12 monster can you make? Well, Zeus is two level 12 monsters. <laughs> so we can hard make Zeus without having to attack. Hello there. Nice to meet you. And then this thing, in addition to its normal effect, can target a machine monster and become material. So we don't lose it, we get we get something extra. There we go. And then let's just let's just go ahead and blow up that whole board, shall we? Let's do these two. There's a chance we might be able to do it. There's no point. Goodbye! I'll remember you all in therapy. Uh what's in graveyard that I can activate? Oh, anger knuckle. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use Anger Knuckle. If this is in the graveyard, I can send one card from my hand or field to summon it. And then Therion, I can target a machine in the graveyard, equip it to summon it. And there you go. I don't think this is game. No, it's close to game. But I've wiped the field and I have one negate for the one card they're going to draw. So unless they have something in the graveyard I'm unfamiliar with, I think we somehow won this one. You know, do Anger Knuckle Pass turned out to be enough to beat this uh, janky tri deck. <laughs> oh, but wait, I negate and then if they have a Link 1... They can send a Tri-Brigade, send one, but they've already normal summoned, so they can't use the, whatchamacallit again. And this is one of the few, the thing, the reason I don't like Regulus, why I didn't play it in the earlier combos, is because it's a negate, yes, but it's a negate that forces you to tribute itself, and it doesn't even destroy the monster. And they surrender to Zeus. So it's like the least useful negate, but in this case, it worked out. So there you go. That's what you do. You just gotta hope we could do that again like another 50 times. Now I'm going second with no hand traps or disruption whatsoever. I mean, we got the one card starter for what good it will do. Valor, okay, I'm already thinking Valor, get rid of. I was thinking getting rid of Valor for Nibiru, but that wouldn't help in this situation either. What you usually do is you summon the lady first, and then you do that. Ah, okay. Activate the clock. Uh, nah. Nah, I don't think so. Bye-bye, clock. 
Oh, well, I guess they don't think so. But, you know, at this point, if they, they activate, if they just have the Eradicator and they use it, no matter what they call spells or traps, uh, they've just wasted their time. It's all going to be about what this final card is. Spell cards. Go ahead, look at all the spell cards I have. You can destroy all of them. And to be fair, if this is like in perm, I'm dead. Yeah, we still do this. Oh! It doesn't appear to be in perm. Okay. Let's activate this. Go for the brutal dozer. Let's be a little brutal. Ha ha ha. Activate. And sure, we'll summon the road roller while we're here. Or the chainsaw. Oh! Well then. Well, you know, sometimes it works out better than you expect. What was that back row? What could they possibly have had set back there that like didn't do anything? Was it like, it? I guess evenly? If it was evenly, they were screwed. If it was witch's strike, they were screwed. If it was um, rivalry of warlord <laughs> goes and matched. Yeah, it had to be rivalry goes in, red reboot, or evenly or Witch's Strike. All right, so despite some setbacks, we're ready to rank up. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Let's go, hard hats on. We're ready, hard hats on. We're steady. We're not gonna brick, we're not gonna brick. Uh, okay, we didn't brick. I mean, if they asked this, we bricked, but we didn't brick yet. Go heavy forward. I wanna play. No, come on, buddy. Activate Max C. It'll be better. Oh, they're reading. They're reading so much. This is their first time seeing an Infinitrack card. Wow, they are giving this a big thunk. Aha! <laughs> they were too scared by our engineering prowess. Their mind couldn't handle. They're sitting there thinking, all the Earth machines flashing through their head. And then, like, scanners just... Head explode. What were we facing? What did they have that they were so... It's like a 60 card. Maybe they had a really bad hand. I don't know. With this deck? Come on. Uh, anyway, we're back into plat two. Let's see if we can keep this going. Interesting. Okay, so we know they've got max C, unfortunately. That's why we're discarding this and just trying to get other stuff. We'll get this. Get this. Normal summon. Yeah, we need to go for Fortress here. Then we heavy forward. Forward lets us add the Harvester. Special summon this by sending the Harvester. Doesn't start a chain! Yay! Callista. Callista gets me the box. The box gets me the chainsaw. Special summon the chainsaw! Oh, I should have done the, uh, whatchamacallit. I should have done this, that would have been better. Mistakes were made. Brutal dozer. Let's get dozing! Dozer goes into trencher. Let's storm those rivers, ladies and gentlemen! Now we get to do the cool combo, chat. Regulus equip gear frame. And then the gear frame can summon itself. Because it's an equip card. Go Union Monsters. Union Strong! Yeah, we just do this now. One, two, three. Four, and we'll reset the Brutal Dozer. Something I already used and something we can't use yet. Not great, but not bad either. We've got a Regeki, we've got a Chump Block, we've got Max C, and we've got Regulus. Let's 
let's go ahead and overdrive now. Yeah, let's send the Anger Knuckle. Ah, an Ash Blossom. Um, yeah, we'll negate that. So you've been negated. I get the Chungus. Yep, you, you just wasted it targeting the Citadel. Gonna activate this. And I know their board is gonna be clear, but it's like, hey, if you have Ogre, no. <laughs> if you have Ogre or Birth, you're gonna pay for it. And they can take the Zeus out of my extra deck. I don't really care. No, they went for the Pep. They know the real cost of doing business. Yeah, I guess I should have max seed earlier. Excuse me? You what now? I thought I was facing Cash Tira. Here I am being vanquished for my entire soul even. Yeah, they can't make the link because they activated Theosis that locks them into um, just Ixy monsters for this turn. They're playing Pluton! I mean, I guess we activate this now. Otherwise, forever hold our peace, am I right? You already ashed. I don't know what you could do from here. Okay. I mean, I don't really care about gear frame. Okay, so we'll get Hound Express Train. Citadel returns! Borger? Nice. I already have a Regulus in the grave, right? Yeah, that's what I like to see. Oh, they're going for the burn. I guess they did already take out the pep. Or they don't have a dark. Which is good, that means they can't get to, um, what's her name? Mad Love. Mad Love gets them all the spell traps, unless they already have the spell traps. But if they don't have the dark, then they can't destroy the whole field anyway. No, they do have a dark. Earth. Fire. What's your dark? Oh, another Borger. Okay, you're gone. My popper! End phase. Okay, we're gonna use the Super Express Bullet Train. We wanna get back. Moon Class Bar. Was this added to my hand by a card effect? Let's special summon it. Send the only remaining card to the grave. Another one. Let's start off strong by Regulus into Regulus. I need to find a way to get into a rank 10. I think I can do that. They're just going on the burn strats now. Oh, I guess I could urgent schedule, but I feel like I already have too much stuff. Activate the Anger Knuckle. Send this as cost. And then Chain Link 2, Urgent Schedule, because now I have less cards than you. I mean, no? I'm gonna say no. Ooh, a train! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now my knuckle is anger. Yeah, that's how you do it. And then all I had to do was a uh, normal summon the other the other harvester, target the regulus, make it level 10, 
and then Liba with like three materials just attacks for everything. So we did it. It was a long, hard-fought battle, but we won. All right, this is not bad. If this gets ashed or Veilert or whatever, we've already got the Boodle Dozer. And it didn't. It's not great. We don't have much in the way of interruptions. Just a quick effect Raigeki and a Therion. Okay, it was Furniture. This is not a great hand for dealing with Labyrinth. Although, negating the big welcome is pretty nice. That's unexpected. Dogmatica Punishment. Okay, we do this now. Citadel. Um. Yeah, we blow up everything now so they can't get any advantage. Well, that would have been great last turn. Aha! Activate the Magical Hound! Return your field spell before you can do it! Oh, you're starting with that? I mean, yeah, I'll negate that. I don't want to lose two cards. Oh, they had big welcome and welcome. Citadel's having a rough day, yeah. I think as long as they don't get the harvester in our hand, we're pretty good. Okay, they hit possibly the best thing they could have hit. Oh, they're setting something immediately. Do they have the Ku Clock too? Second big welcome to set the third big welcome. Let's go ahead and do this. Hey, that's pretty good. Add the designated? I mean, if you insist. Yeah, we use this on the Hound. I want to keep the Harvester so we can get something bigger. Let's do Harvester into Trencher. Go, go, Gadget Stormer. We go Regulus into Regulus, of course. We normal summon this. Grab this. Yeah, we're gonna make both of these level 10. Uh, let's see if we can draw our way into another level 10, shall we? Peak Yu-Gi-Oh! No, that doesn't get us to it. Oh wait, yes it does. All right, chat. Summon back the Dozer. We're going to use our Goliath and this to make the Ancient Gear Ballista that we sent back. Now Ballista, in addition to searching box, which we are going to do again because we shuffled it back. Do we have another target for box? No. It has an additional secret effect. Target a spell trap, destroy it, and then make a monster's attack zero. Which means our two level 10s can now go into Gustav Max. Dun 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 dun. Detach to inflict 2000. Turn the Gustav into Juggernaut Liebe. <laughs> Activate the effect. 6000 life points, you say? Be a shame if I had a 6000 attack point monster and you had a zero. And there you go. And all it took was literally 37 minutes. <laughs> you know, all we had to do was recycle everything, summon Goliath six times, recycle it again, and then we could do a rank 10 train combo. <laughs> I was here. Chat's like, I survived.
I did it. I'll tell my grandchildren about this one. All right, here we are, dawn of the third stream. We're almost halfway there. And unfortunately, I am not feeling all too well. If I look a little bit out of it, if I sound a little bit out of it, it's cause I'm a bit out of it, but <laughs> the show must go on. The thing about ladder climb is it's kind of on a time crunch. I have to finish this by the end of the month. So I'm pushing through anyway. And that's why we've got chat on the screen there. Say hello, chat. They're doing cats in the chat. They're being nice. They're wanting to ban Maxi, just like me. And hopefully, you know, if I'm not as interesting during this session, if I'm not able to keep up the commentary, you'll at least have them to keep you company. Maybe the editor can like zoom in on select stuff, or maybe they'll just be a distraction. Either way, we're trying out something new to see if we can do it. And speaking of trying out something new, I have a slightly new version of the deck. Uh, I didn't play a whole lot over the weekend. In fact, I barely got to play at all because again, not, not feeling all that great. But I did make a couple of small changes that I think make it worthy of being a new version. Basically, I've, I've taken the Regulus down to one. I mostly search it anyway. And I found that opening with like Regulus, especially if you open with multiples of them, that don't get your play started. You're kind of screwed there. I decided to put three heavy freight train Dare Crane in here. I found that a lot of times I really wanted to end on Super Dora with the Dare Crane attached and just not being able to do that consistently was hurting me. So I put it to three and I took out the bullet train entirely because I don't feel like follow up is all that important in this. We're already drawing two, we're already consistent as heck. So having one more card whose only purpose is to grab a starter out of the graveyard if we have one, I don't think really worth it in this day and age, but we'll see. For the time being, I put in a Nibiru. I had one slot and at the time I was like, it would be nice to draw something off of Max C that just ends the opponent's turn. So we got this for now. So far, this is the last version or close to the last version that we're doing before Super Heavy Samurais come out. I have been looking at combos for those. They do synergize with the Earth Machine and I think give it a lot more staying power. The real question when those come out is going to be, is Super Heavy Earth Machine better than just pure Super Heavy Samurai? Hopefully we can make it into Diamond despite my sleepiness. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Okay, one one slight change. I made an oopsie. I, I, we got into one duel and we opened with Metal Cruncher, which I thought was a one card combo starter because it gets you to Harvester. And it turns out, no, I was wrong. I'm like looking back at the combos and I don't remember why I thought that. So we've taken out the one Metal Cruncher. We put in another gear frame. It's a very small change. Mark 5.1. Now let's try this out. All right, this is about as good as it gets. B -b -b baby, you just ain't seen na -na -na nothing yet. Okay, we're gonna do this. Um, they're not ashing it, so I think we're fine. One, two, three, four. Ooh, we'd have to give back something. Kinda sucks, I could have maybe made better choices. Oh well. Still better to draw to, even though we're gonna put some stuff back. Uh, you don't really want to lose your uh, citadel or your fort. Oh, it's okay. We got it back, chat. Chat, we got it back. <laughs> we'll get that fortress back that we shuffled into the deck. Oh, I could have used Dora. Good, good idea. It's fine. I'll just get insanely lucky instead. All right, so we got a Dora with a train attached. What's funny is I could detach the train now and blow up Anger Knuckle and summon back the Machina Fortress, but I think we're fine as is. It's about as good as we could hope to get with this deck. Kashtira, Triple Tack, Feather Duster, Kashtira, Dimension Shifter, Thrust. I forget, shifters if there's no monsters in the graveyard, no cards in the graveyard. Okay, they can't activate that now. Yeah, and then we go ahead, we'll just negate the Theosis. That'll leave them with a monster on board so they can't summon another one. And this is a once per turn. The 
Then they get to look at my extra deck. That's fine. Oh, they're taking the Leva. Okay, I do kind of care about that one. Look at your opponent's hand. Shuffle one away. <laughs> sure thing, buddy. <laughs> Go ahead and take a peek. I wonder which one they'll choose, chat. <laughs> choices, choices everywhere. Yeah, go ahead. I'll summon the Citadel. We'll go... Chainsaw! Rum, rum, rum. That it? Cash Tira Burf. Yeah, go ahead. End phase? Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and use this. Yeah, just one card. And honestly, there's only one thing I'm afraid of. Which is this Chungo! Good! That's a pretty good one, or it would be if we didn't have all this stuff on board. Okay, change to attack position. We just go in. Yeah, let's make Zeus. The biggest train. Yeah, it's a good thing if they, they didn't take that Lebo, we'd be screwed. Special summon one of your Cash Tiras, all right. Go ahead and search another Theosis. Oh, another Birth. All right, they know they're getting field wiped. They already have the Theosis too. And then we don't let them get the search off. This is where we just blow up everything. And end phase, yeah. We'll just take care of that. Bye bye! Oh, well, I guess they didn't have anything. There we go. Sleepy Joe can still get a win in. We got it. We did it. We're not useless. All right, all right. This would be a pretty good going second hand, but it's still a good going first hand because we got heavy forward. This lets us search our main playmaker. Unless they ash it. They don't appear to have ashed it. Time to be the Harvester of Sorrows. Let's activate this. Maybe they're waiting because they know that they ashed this and then I get left with a zero attack monster on the field. Or it's Rescue Ace, which I don't understand how they work at all. Or getting four, like setting four spell traps from the deck. Yeah, fuck it. I want cards too. That's a pretty good one. Uh, I'm not going to do the full combo. We'll just get set up for next turn. Let's go for this. Oh, they're still going for it. They're thinking about something, chat. I wonder if there's any way for me to get to Zeus from here. Yeah, there is, actually. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, let's go for you. Oh, no, I need to get a level 10. Yeah, Harvester plus Dare Crane makes Zeus. DD Crow, are you serious? Who the hell plays DD Crow? this in the graveyard. Yep, we'll just end on this. Sad, another game lost because of Max C. Sure, that doesn't do anything. 
Actually, that might trigger Citadel. No, it wasn't an Earth Machine on the field. Yeah, if I don't do this now, I'll lose it. No. What are the chances they don't have called by? That doesn't stop it. Alright, they didn't get to set four. That's a plus. Alright, I think I could deal with this. Okay, so this can pop the field spell, which will lower over their attack. And then when I summon Citadel, everything will be under 3,000, so I can blow it all up. Yo, what up? Citadel! Boo, 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 boo. I mean, I'd prefer not to lose that. Let's just blow everything up, shall we? I mean, I guess I lose it now here anyway because of the truest worm. But I didn't get OTK'd, so there's that, you know. I might actually survive this. I turned their OTK into a no TK. Now I just need to see if I can turn that into a Joe TK. Normal summon hydrant. Ash Blossom, that might help. This is why I love Machina Fortress. Let's just get rid of the box. And this, summon out this fucker. Yo, what up? How many Earth Machines do I have in my deck? Destroy it? Um, okay. That triggers Citadel. Okay, they had another DD Crow for it. Uh, special summoned? Sure. Hello there. Thank you for banishing my thing. Question is, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we've got we've got more than enough. It's dough tunneling time. Time to draw two, baby. That's a pretty good one. Hey, how's it going? You having a nice time? Special summon one from the deck? No, uh uh. I don't think so. Not this time. Draw all the hand traps you want. It won't make your pee pee any bigger. Oh, hey, I reset this. Yeah. We'll get this out. Let's storm the rivers, lads! Oh, yeah, I forgot that had an effect. So adding a level, to level 8 or higher train means we could discard this to get this out. And then... We can, we can add in our newest Chungo. Oh, it's effects are negated. Never mind, we cannot add our newest Chungo. Okay, so let's battle. We destroy this. Attach it? Yes. Give me my Omnoms. People forget that they have the ability to do that. Yeah, I think we're good here. We just gotta hope they can't do anything. We don't got any disruption. One for one. Yep, and then Hydrant just gets them to that. And then that sets four. The question is, will they summon three more times? Oh, they only have three. All right, two more. Oh. Oh.
This isn't an OTK, so I'm fine by it. I know this would give them a smaller token, too. And if they destroy this, I get to pop one of their back rows. They know Amblo Whale. Ah, uh, sure. This seems like a good time. They have a very small token. Road Roller? Yeah, let's road roll, baby! Vroom vroom! Alright, they control... I think they can't use their effects if they, that's that's a good one. If I have any Machinas left in the grave, it has to be a machine monster. Okay. What do the two traps do? I don't know. Reading is for grommets. Add one from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. They seem to be running out of stuff in deck. It certainly appears that way. Yeah, this will at least let me recycle this. Okay, they get the end phase add. Directly from your deck. Do you still have some left in the deck? Yeah, fuck you. Alert! The deck then, so we can hopefully draw something nutty. Uh oh. Is that just it? No, we're not quite dead yet. 19 cards remain. Unfortunately, three of those cards are the Machina Search card, which at this point doesn't have enough targets to resolve. Oh, Magnuma can add out of the graveyard. Fantastic. Just in time. Yeah, we really need, I think, Urgent Schedule would get us out of here. We get one draw, chat. Okay. Let's return this, this, and I guess the Tunneler. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go. Boo, 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 boo. Let's get our level one tuner and a level 10 non tuner. And because we're not locked into machines, we can make Psychic and Punisher! Dun 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 dun! Get punished, Chungus! Battle phase! All the attack! It's time to put a little pep in their step. Uh, sure. Maxi. Now, of course, if they have the Underworld Goddess, we're doomed here. Because I can't battle with anything but er but Ixie monsters the turn I use this. Or I can't battle with anything but machines. But assuming they don't have exactly Underworld Goddess, we should be fine. Can't Goddess with the Link 3 on the field? Okay. And they can't move her into defense either. There you are. I knew you were going to get here eventually. They already summoned Amblo Whale, so they might not have a level, uh, a high, higher link fire monster that they can get rid of her with. Huh. If they had the ability to do that, why didn't they make it with her? All right. I think this is it, chat. Gain the attack. They said I was crazy for playing Pep. Well, who's crazy now? Go, Pep! Win me the duel! <laughs> we made it out! Did they have the Underworld Goddess? If they did, I believe they could have they could have had a, a plan out and they just didn't quite do it. No, she's not in the deck! 
They didn't have an out! But yeah, that's that's why you play Pep in this deck. Alright, ladies and non-ladies. Here's our chance to rank up. It's been a slow day, but we've been making progress. Let's hope that old Hard Hat Joe can make it through. They would have to be on a trap deck and also have, like, nothing else. Yeah, I'll just ash that. Alright. Up against actual Sword Soul, but we slowed him down a bit, chat. And we're still gonna get two summons off of this. Ah, oh, they had the Ash. So we don't get to draw, but... They've got this and one card in their hand. So what are we looking at? Verone plus something else? If that's the case, we're really gonna have to need some other starter or something else that can do something. Oh, they didn't make it. They made Chi Chow or Evil Long One. And then they've got Emergence, but they've already used their normal... Oh, it's that. Your opponent's special summons, banish one of those and inflict 1200. When your opponent activates a spell trap, banish it and inflict 1200. I can't summon Dark, I'll have to remember that. Most of my deck is Earth. That's a pretty good one! I think we still do this first. The Tuner? Yeah, because they're never going to have a face-up. And then normally here I'd go for Citadel, but if I put out the Citadel, they banish that and I'm like doom-screwed. So I think we go for the Dare Crane. Yeah, and then if they use it on this, like, I don't mind losing one Dare Crane. That's not that bad. Okay, go Harvester. Let's grab this. We want to keep the Harvester, so I think we tribute off the Tuner, because there's no other Synchros we can make. Except Pep. Is Pep dark? No, it's light. It's light, but also shadow. Make the River Stormer. I don't like it Regulus, but Regulus don't help a whole lot here. I think I could just grab another train, right? Yeah, I think this does it. Okay, so we're going to get our train. Turn this into a Goliath. That will allow us to summon the train. And we're going to Harvester, target this. We both go up to 12. I'm locked into Earth Machines. Mistakes have been made, chat! I forgot I locked myself into Earth Machines. Let's get a box. Do I have anything to search with the box? I don't. It's just a free box. Yep, let's tribute off this. Yeah, we're just gonna have to draw two and hope we draw our way out of this problem. Let's go for this. All right. We don't have a way to get the 10 out. We do. It's not great, but we could do it. Okay, we don't activate this. Instead, we activate this. They got something they can do. Oh, I activated a spell. Yeah, I'm locked into Earth, so I think we just go for you and you. This can't be destroyed by card effects. Okay. It's gonna go to attack. Attack into this. Take 400. Ouch. We destroy this. We summon back this. Howdy, howdy. We go to main phase. Activate this. We send itself to summon the train. And then we make Dora. There we go. Two unstoppable monsters staring each other down. We got follow up for next play. They can't get rid of us. We can pop their thing. Earth was selected, but I am unaffected by activated effects. And for people wondering why I didn't detach the Dare Crane, I can't destroy this by card effects. Okay, now I can't summon any Earth Machines, but I've already got one that's bigger than them. So, change to attack position. 
Uh, and then I can make Zeus. I don't think I want to make Zeus yet. I think I want to save the Zeus. Especially since I have this. Monk of the Tenny. Alright. If my girl and Mo Ye, do they have a sword, soul, or worm in their hand is the question. They do not. Choo choo, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, I think I got this, chat. Trencher, bring back the harvester. Ash Blossom. Okay, I was like, the only thing we have to fear is Mei and Abiru, but now we know they have Moye and Ash. So, normal summon this. And then Anger Knuckle. Who needs the Ash? There we go, we got him. So we had it. I was just finding a way to do it through the brain fog, but we did it. We can engineer even when we're tired. I wouldn't recommend it. You know, if you build a house and it collapses, the judge is not gonna believe that you were just tired. They're gonna tell you to wait. Can we get into Diamond 5 tonight? We just gotta make it, baby. Hot chocolate, check it and see. I got a chocolate of 103. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Oh, I'm going first. Good thing I, I almost shotgunned that Maxi, just assuming, you know? Go ahead, Ash this. Yeah. Yep, that's gonna have to be it. We can draw two next turn. A negate and a Maxi and a dream. Change of heart. I mean, well, there you go. Uh, unfortunate. But I do get a search. I didn't get to Anger Knuckle, so we're gonna get this to hand. That's not Numeron. Yeah, we do this now, because otherwise they're gonna have a chance to draw an Ash if they don't already have one. Sky Striker, it's all spells. Oh, boring Sky Strikers, I see. Oh, they're just going to Shizuku. Unless you want to tag out for another one. Oh, uh, let's see here. could crash this and then make like citadel yeah i think that's the best move just crash that we'll activate oh wait i'm so dumb i am the dumbest man who ever lived why did i forget about this there was the whole reason i put this in the deck yeah we still add both of these Yeah, I could have done this in main phase one. And then probably OTK'd. Choo choo! Is your boy! Yeah. Normal summon this. Grab this. Activate. Sure, let's dump another one of these into the graveyard. Deck thinning the movie, the game. Yeah, grab that to hand. Yeah, and then we're just gonna do this. Yo, what up? Did we just banish the back row, actually? Yeah. Let's just be like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Still gets banished. Road Roller! Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, we're good. I am very sleepy. I mentioned it at the top of the stream. I am having sleep-based problems. There we go. 
<laughs> Not quite, friend. It doesn't it doesn't work like that. Target me all you want, it won't help you. Let's go to battle phase. Yes, I would like to gain. 83. All right. That's fine. They lack critical information. Yeah, I don't think that Sky Striker has a way to completely remove links from their field. So, and I don't think they have a way to attack directly for more than 4,000. Yeah, at this point, if they go to the battle phase, I'm going to gain 4,000 life points, and then I don't think they can crash without dying. You fool! You're only making me stronger! Oh, maybe they thought the kind of worked because I didn't attack. Yeah, because I didn't attack last time, they didn't know it was a strategic move. They thought the kind of actually worked. <laughs> They're like, it's fine, I'll just stall for another turn and then I can make a big Shizuku next time. Man, I would love to see something like this in the anime, where they're like, now your monster can't attack, and they're like, oh no, like they just don't correct them. They're like, haha, now they've got me. I'm like, oh, do you? Battle phase, and they're like, gain all the attack you want, you can't attack. Like, I think you seem to be making some big assumptions there, friend. 19,000 attack? Hello there. <laughs> Final blow time. What? That's impossible! <laughs> 17,000! Somebody's taking a ride to Sleepy Time Junction. Somebody's so exhausted they can hardly function. Dun, 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 dun. And so I'm booking a ride to Sleepy Time Junction. Somebody's taking a ride to sleep time junction. All aboard, cries the engineer. Sleepy time junction's all so near. Somebody's taking a ride to sleepy time junction. All right, so we're doing our best labyrinth impression again. And as long as they don't have Lightning Storm or Feather Duster, I think we should be pretty good. All right, they were afraid of the Labyrinth and they quit. And you know what? Sometimes that's all it takes. We take those. All right, engineers and engine lasses. We got one more, one more duel. We can win this one. We go into Diamond. I just want to go into diamonds. I'm very tired. I haven't even been here that long. I'm just, I'm just living this tired life. Going second with Ash and Nibiru. All right. We like that. Yeah, gamers, lend me your energy. I'm spirit coo. All right. I'll take the two for one. I think Nibiru solos against Cyber's decks, right? Did they open with the thing that they need? They open with two maxis. Turn into Al Mirage, summon... All right, they're in a bad way. So that's one, two, three, four, and then the next thing we make, we just Nibiru them, right? So if they search the math mech, we wait for them to summon the one alpha the sigma out of the graveyard. And for now, we just turn chain off so they think we don't have Nibiru. But we do this, right? After they summon it, because we don't want them to get the search off of... Yeah. We don't want them to search Super Factorial. Sometimes when you're engineering, you just gotta bring down the dynamite. And that's, that's all it takes. Nibiru solos. I've got all the machines made by men. And yet, it is nature's own rock that gets us up into Diamond 5. We only play one of those, by the way. But thank the Lord I put it in there. We made it up. We will not bit shut down. 
And that means next time when we load in, the Super Heavy Samurai should be out by then. I'll hopefully be rested. I'll hopefully be good. And we can start with the Super Heavy Earth Machines rolling up from Diamond. And here we are, dawn of the fourth stream. Three streams lay behind us, three streams lay ahead. We're at the exact halfway point, and as often happens halfway through the climb, Konami has released a new update. Not just one update, a whole bunch of updates. There's stuff out the wazoo, you know. New version update, new theme chronicle, yada yada, you play anime cards. But perhaps most importantly, new pack Indomitable Pride is here. And you know, this has the Monodium stuff, it has the Sleepy Girl archetype, there's Gold Pride, yada yada. But Super Heavy Samurai. The new support is finally here in Master Duel, and unlike every other main, like, meta archetype from the TCG, uh, this did not receive any hits. You know, Cash Tira, Sprite, Tier Limit, all of those had a couple cards limited or banned before they were released in full power. We never got the full power Tier Limit experience. But we're getting the full power Super Heavy Samurai experience, and it is not great. I haven't actually played yet, but just the amount of complaining I've been hearing online. This is a big, huge combo deck, the kind of thing that Maxi is supposed to stop according to the people who tell me I don't need it banned, but it's it's not, because they're playing Maxi and they're gonna win anyway. So yeah, it's a big, big, just like tier zero format. And fortunately for us, all the Super Heavy Samurais are machines. Most of them are Earth Machines. In fact, I think this one is the only dark one in the entire deck, and that doesn't really slow us down. So we get to add this in as an engine that helps facilitate more Earth Machine plays. At least that's the hope. I've got a list, we'll get to it in a minute. But first, let's go over the rest of the updates, you know? They added a new secret pack, Transcendentalism, which for some reason is the dinosaur pack. Oh, I guess because Transcendosaurus, which... I saw some people that were really excited about dinosaurs, and you know things are bad when they're not even putting them in a new pack. They're just giving them their own secret pack with Dino Morpheus right off the bat. They added more deck slots, which is good because I was almost out. They added some new accessories, including a soul-eating over-raptor mate, so if I play a Dino Morphia deck or something, now I have something I can do. And another new secret pack. Oh no, this was just, there was an error. Before they said it was Dino Ruffia and it's Dino Morphia. Even they have problems with the new names. So yeah, a whole bunch of stuff added in the update, but the most important one is the Super Heavy Samurais. And as I said, I have already upgraded the deck to include those in. And this is based off a list I found on YouTube. It's on the channel Pasai Yu-Gi-Oh! P-S-A-I. I want to give them some credit. Specifically, it's by someone named Scott. There's no, like, last name or anything given. But I was watching him show off the deck, the combos, the different things it can do. And it played enough with everything I already know about Earth Machines while also including the Super Heavy Samurais, that as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's, that's what I gotta do. This is great. This should work out perfectly. Gets rid of all the spells and everything, except for redeployment, because this is still very good. And then we're just playing like all hand traps. Their hand trap lineup was different because this was a TCG list. They still had Cash Tira Fenrir at three and you could do some stuff with them. So instead I'm just playing like Droll and Ash. Everything to stop Max C, because that's going to be the only thing that can really stop us, and we don't have Called by the Grave anymore. Now that being said, this may not be the best version of the deck, because I didn't realize until after I built it and tested it and learned the combos, that uh, this is based off the TCG format, where the Super Heavy Samurai Link has already been banned. So there's probably a better way to do this, but honestly I don't think it's going to matter that much. Super Heavy Samurais are really one of those combo decks where if they're allowed to finish the combo uninterrupted, they just win. Whether or not I add, like, an extra negate on top of the three I'm already making, I don't think that's going to <laughs> make much of a difference. In fact, from what I've heard described, it'll be surprising if we even get to finish the combo because most people are surrendering if they open, go second, and don't have, like, Droll or Max C to stop this. And even if I'm wrong, even if it turns out there is a better way to do this, I can always pivot into that. The the link is, I don't think it's a uh, ultra rare or anything. Let's, let's check that out real quick. Yeah, the link is a super rare and I already have two of it. 
So if it turns out that this is something I really need to do, then I should have no problem just pivoting into that. We're still going to want to get all these ultra rares, the Rakaushi, the Monk Benkai, the bike, and I also need another copy of Gear Gigant X, but I mean, I should be able to craft that. So that's what we're going to start today with. We're going to be opening up that new set, pulling a bunch of cards, and seeing if we can get all the ultra rares we need to fill this out. Let's pop on down, and for reference, I have it written down, it's not up in the corner because we got the coin tosses up there. But we have spent 10,000 gems on this deck so far. Time to make it 11,000 gems. And it doesn't look like there's any URs, and we need all URs, so we're in for a ride ahead. And you know, Chad, if you'd like to help me to afford more gems... Wow, that worked out! <laughs> I was about to say, we've got a long road ahead of us, we've got no URs, the chances that we'll get everything we need are low, you know, maybe maybe subscribe, maybe drop a donation. But no, Akaushi's right there. We got one already. First pack. Who needs it? Maybe we'll get them all and with the 2,000 gems we got. That would be cool, right? Right? Hey, there's my second UR. It's not like one that I necessarily wanted, but you know, gold pride. Maybe we'll play that at some point. Who knows? All right, last pack. Will we get another Wakaushi in the end? No, we got the uh, Sioux Ship Catch of the Day. Not a great start, but I mean, not a bad start by any means. We got one. If we can get another one of these in every pack, it'll only take us 6,000 gems to get everything. Or I'm sorry, 8,000. You know, actually, if you do want to donate or sub or join the Patreon, I would really appreciate it. You know, any any amount you can give would be really great right about now. Okay, let's go ahead and pack number two. Even less shinies than before. All right, we got at least one UR. The first nine packs didn't have any. But surely this will be like the bike or another Wakaushi? No, it's the gold prize. They really had to make better not luck next time, a, a UR, just to rub it in. They're like, oh, better luck next time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand, Mr. Krabs. How can you spend $100,000 in one night? All right, here we go. We got 5,000 more gems. We're going gong strong. I mean, kind of. We're not playing pure. Hey, there we go. We got a We got a Big Ben K, a Big Ben Kai. I'll probably use both. Either way, another UR down. Only six more to go, I think. Okay, here's another UR. Will it be a super heavy samurai? No. I haven't even seen this one. Veda Kalanta? If you like Veda Kalanta and cards that you play. Give a sub to Hardleg Joe, and he will bake you a cake. And by a cake, I mean he'll sing songs, and he'll do it all night. And he'll do it while he wears a hat, and that will be all right. Ba bum bum. All right, last pack. Will we get another samurai? Samurai, please. No. Pendulum treasure. Well. We at least got something that we needed, so there's that. But we've still got a long road to go. Let's put another another thousand in there, baby. 14k. Whoa, hey! What's this? Four URs at least? Things are looking up for old hard leg. I wonder how many of these will be the ones that I want. Maple, 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 I made you out of play. Maple, 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 maple got a good stream. We're trying to pull super heavy samurais, Maple. Will will the maple luck be enough to get us another Wakaushi? I mean, that's not it. But this, this will surely, by the blessings of Canada, be a super heavy samurai. You betrayed me for the last time. I'll never drink maple syrup again. All right, there's another UR hidden here. Will it be the bike? We still don't have a bike. Bike, please? No. Bike, please? That's ah, Wakaushi! That's not quite a bike, but it's still something that we needed. I'll take it. All right. Another you are. Show me the bike. Show me the bike. Show me the bike! 
Well, I mean, I guess that is a super heavy samurai, but it's like the only one that we don't play. But I guess it's good to have in case chat ever makes me do like a super heavy samurai episode. All right. Well, we got another UR. That's one more for the collection. There's still some amount left. Let's go ahead. This is 15,000 gems we've spent now. We're almost partially there. Should I just skip chat or do you like seeing all the stuff come out? All right, chat is sick of seeing all these animations. We're just gonna hit skip. Ding, done. And we didn't, we didn't get one. We got it, we got a Nemaluria. I feel like skipping is bad luck, but I guess we'll find out. Let's just do another one. Let's skip the whole thing. Let's see if the 16,000th one will work. Go skip! Yeah, that one was even worse. Better luck next time. I feel... <laughs> I think watching the pulls makes them better. Okay, but we only did it twice. I get, We got 1,000 more gems. We might as well. Here's 17,000. Let's skip the last one. Will it prove itself to be an inferior method of opening packs? Yes. Yes, it's scientifically proven. Don't tell me that's not how science works. All we got is the fucking scarecrow. I'm sad now. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to craft a lot of stuff, but fortunately, in addition to everything else, the ban list finally kicked in. I forget if I mentioned it before because it wasn't in the like updates. Because they announced it like a couple weeks ago, but now it's finally here. Which means we can break down Chaos Ruler, this is banned. We can break down a Fenrir, because this is going from 1 to 2. And we can break down our There Can Only Be Ones, because now there can only be one. So that should at least give us three URs worth of material. And also like Card of Demise, Pot of Duality, Runic Destruction. They had a bunch of other stuff. So we're going to get some extra points from that. A whole hundred UR points. Yay. Now that being said, we still have to craft more than that. So I think we'll have to break down some stuff, but at least we got part of the way there. All right, 180 ultra rare points. Go. Uh, uh. Well, at least one of my Wakaushis is glossy, I guess. There we go. The deed is done. We've got ourselves the super heavy earth machines. And while I could go over and explain how this works, I have a feeling that by the time this episode comes out, most people will already be painfully aware of the super heavy samurai combos. So I'm not even gonna go over them. I'm just gonna show them in the duel. You can see the combo there. And if you have any questions, ask down in the comments or just do a google search or something i'm sure there will be content explaining the combos you, you don't need me to do it for you all right slight tiny change after testing this out a little bit i decided to add a second regulus and take out the second dare crane it's tiny insignificant but i didn't want anyone in chat to be confused when i showed you a list that had one and then i summoned two in a duel so there you go now you know first attempt with the super heavy deck last time did not count because we forgot to switch the decks, so and we've played one with the old version. This is pretty good. You could special summon this from your hand. All right. I thought we'd be facing 100% super heavy samurai. I guess not. What if I said no? And now you don't have the thing either. All right. Tie a pass, tie a pass. What you gonna do? Gonna get some ass. Will we do the combo? I mean, to be fair, if that's cross out or whatever, then no, we won't do the combo. But we'll see. Get Wakaushi. This is the one card combo starter. Pendulum scale. Add this, summon Wakaushi. All right, they don't seem to have the blackout so far. Maybe they were waiting for this. All right, let's go ahead and activate this. We can attach it to her, to hit the it, to machine. And then if it's attached, we can summon it. Howdy, howdy. Then we got two level fours, so we can make gear gigant X. Punch. Alright, let's go ahead and detach the Wakaushi. And we can search our other combo starter. Or not. 
They're waiting a while on that one. Okay, well, we already have the scale. So we can special summon this from our hand in attack position. And that still gets the effect. I think we go for this one. Get ready to storm their rivers. I think this is probably called by, if I had to guess. So let's just add Regulus. That's the safest bet. That gets us a negate on board. Then we can activate the Regulus and equip, I don't know, the bike. I think that's about it. Fortunately, this is pretty good because if we run over the Taya, we can munch it. Om nom 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 nom. Then I'm gonna run over that. Hit him with 2300. And then if I wasn't locked into Earth Machine. Oh. Oh, I see. Alright, fair enough there, child. You got me there. I guess the match was almost made a little bit more evenly. What do we do from here? So we do one. And they get the Taya back. Doesn't even matter. Go for this. Ballista. Go, Ballista! Give me the backs. It's a good thing I didn't go for Citadel because that would have been bad. Then we'll get Tunneler. Secret Tunnel. Secret Tunnel. We'll make the second one. Wait, I haven't normal summoned this entire time. Normal summon the box. Anger Knuckle Pass is an FTK. He angry, chat. No one know him Knuckles. And now I'll activate Pot of Greed. <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we're fine. End phase. Go ahead. Uh, let's just do this in case they got the one of Fenrir or something. No, it's good. <laughs> there we go. We didn't necessarily get the uh, super heavy thing, but we got we got some of the combo. All right, so we've been playing quite a few duels, and unfortunately things haven't been working out. Mostly because we've been bricking on Droll and Lockbird, and we've been facing a lot of floodgates. Despite them being at one, I have been hit with Skill Drain. I have been hit with There Can Be With All There Can Be Only One. I have been hit with Synchro Zone, of all things. So we've taken out the Droll because we haven't faced a single Super Heavy Samurai yet. We can put those back in if we do. The way people were talking about it, it was everywhere. You couldn't escape it. But I guess they already got up into Master or High Diamond or whatever. And Low Diamond is just all the anti-meta decks stuck in a hell of their own creation. Point is, we're putting in Dino Wrestler Pankertops. This is something, if we go second, we can just summon it, and then we can pop out any kind of Ludgate that happens to be in our way. It's at three in Master Duel, we might as well try it out. Crafted another one, and since we're barely changing the deck, I changed it to 6.5. A Legendary Ocean. All right, I think we just Pankratops and blow up the back row because that's the only thing that could possibly worry us. If it is the thing that um, saves their spell traps, they have to banish this and maybe we can OTK from that position. Let's just pop this. It's in perm. All right, so from there we can do this. Discard a card, add two Machinas. We want to add this. Yeah, I just realized I goofed. Now, I've, now I'm locked into basically I have to use this to clear the battle phase. Well, we can Regulus into Regulus, which is always good. That means that they do have a negate. We can use this one in the back row without having the tribute itself. So we can attack over this. Get out of here. Go Machina Gear Frame. Uh, do we just start doing Super Heavy Samurai stuff and hope they quit? Sure, let's try that. We have a negate. What are they gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. 
Toss that into the graveyard. Gear Gigant. Grab ourselves the motorcycle. I have spell traps in my graveyard and have thus made a dire mistake. Yeah, I forgot, we haven't yet run into that. We have exactly one spell in the deck. It's so good you don't run the deck without it, but uh, it, it creates situations like this. Okay, good, there we go. I knew if we just just messed around a little bit, they would eventually quit. That's half of this deck's win condition at this point. Is to just fiddle with your cards until they say this is stupid and then they leave. Alright, so once more we are not doing too well. Despite like one good game, we've been losing a whole bunch. Mostly because Diamond 5 is very unpredictable. My attempts early on to metagame things by siding specifically against Super Heavy Samurais has not proven to be useful at all. As a result, we're going into a whole bunch of grind games, and we're losing the grind games mostly because we had that one spell we were playing, and as soon as we played it, it turned off the entire Super Heavy Samurai side of the deck. So we are going with an all-monster version of the deck, just loading out on hand traps, three Ash Blossom, three Effect Veiler. We're playing three of this because it's not a hard once per turn. If I draw all three, I can use them off of Max C. We've got one Droll and Lock, so if we Max C and then it looks like they're gonna deck us out, we can stop up there. Plus it's just good to have one in general. One Ghost Ogre because it's a hard once per turn, and one Nibiru because a lot of the decks we're facing don't seem to be playing around it. Other than that, the deck is mostly the same. Oh, and we changed some stuff in the extra deck. We added a couple Synchros. There were some times when I really wanted to make Pep again. The fact that we have the Effect Veiler and like level 10s allows us to make it really easily. Plus, Super Heavy Samurai uh, Wakaushi is a level 4 tuner. And that plus the 7s allow us to make 11s. Uh, we can also make 8s pretty well. And even though this is not the best 8, it's new. It's a super heavy samurai. It's, I guess it's not an earth machine. It's a machine though. So I figured we might as well try that out. Put it in there. See see if it does anything. If not, we can always replace it with like a Baron de Floor. Because we're having pretty good chances of making a 10. Or maybe, you know, a Karakuri or something. Who knows? So this is Super Heavy Earth Machine, Mark 7. Let's see how it does. All right, we got one of our one card starters. Okay, go Max C. Granola Bar, the Dusk Dragon. Yep, I'm out of here. Get you get the rock. Eh. I want a rock. Enjoy token. They're still doing stuff. Wordless. Oh jeez, what is it, my birthday? And they got Max C, and I don't have a way to stop that. We simply kill them, yeah. We've just gotta try. We've tried not playing into Max C, it doesn't work. I gotta get rid of this guy. Alright. Go Samurai! Ay ay ay, you're my little Samurai! Now we get Puppet Locked. Oh, okay. Normal summon train. Oh, 
Well, I've got two big chunguses and a Veiler. That'll have to get me somewhere. He's furious! The rock remains! Hard to discard. The Furious is not once per turn, or is not a once thing. Oh, okay. Guardian Chimera. So that's gone. We've got 86, so I'm still not dead, am I? I mean, I could do this. All right. I don't think I'm out of the woods yet, but I'm still standing. I've been puppet locked for three turns, and somehow they have not killed me. Oh boy. Regulus, equip gear frame. Hello there. Normal summon gear frame. You. Special summon this. Activate this. Tribute off that. Ruin Force! It's time to ruin them, chat. You think 33 is big? I've got 46! Punch! Now punch! Punch! Go ahead and Pankratops. Tribute Pankratops to kill this. Punch. And then we can begin doing plays. <laughs> how did, how am I still here? How bad do you have to mess up to get to this point? Activate Anger Knuckle. Tribute itself. Summon the level 10 from the graveyard. And finally, chat, finally it is time. You will not be getting another turn. I have the biggest gun! Bang. Choo-choo, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, it may not seem like it on the video, but this has been a long time coming. High stakes battle to rank up into Diamond 4. Coin toss is going our way. Everything else, not so much. It's been, it's been brutal. We've been opening, despite the fact that we've got like nine one turn combos, we've been opening a lot of bricks and stuff. All right, let's try this. It doesn't appear as though they have Max, there we go! <laughs> Thank you, Lord! <laughs> That's what I thought was gonna, I, I was so prepared. When I heard about Super Heavy Samurais, I was like, it's okay. I know this game, you know, if I win the coin toss, it, they're just gonna surrender. If uh, I lose the coin toss, I just gotta hope I get Max C or Droll. And it has not been that. And now we finally got that. We rank up. Thank the Lord. I did not want to play another game. <laughs>
And here we are, dawn of the fifth stream. We're still in Diamond 4, which is unfortunate. I really thought that Earth Machine would be stronger. I thought especially once we got the Super Heavy Samurais, those would be stronger. Perhaps they are. Perhaps they're really good, and the problem is me. I'm not sure how obvious this is watching it or if I've gone into detail earlier, but I have kind of a brain fog thing going on. I'm not feeling all that great and it is making combos difficult. But I am trying my best, and I'm still gonna try to get up into Master. We've got two days, I think we could do it. Especially with this version of the deck, we've upgraded it just slightly. I tested a little bit against the solo mode, trying to practice out combos, and I think this version's a little bit better. We're back to playing three Regulus, which was a little bit risky, but now we've got more ways to get Earth Machines in the graveyard, especially with this. And being able to get a negate on early is very good. Plus, now that we're playing Sargas, we can just search one of these every single turn. And once you get a Regulus equipped with Regulus, things get off to the races. So we've got 41 cards, still a whole bunch of one-ofs that are making this deck very complicated. But we've got all the big hand traps. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna see how it works. I'm still surprised, usually after, like, five days, the heads and tails would even out. Every other month where we've tried to calculate these, it's remained mostly even, but this month is just, uh, crazy. All right, we've got every hand trap and a one-card starter. Also, I like, it's Ban Maxi versus Unban Dragoon. All right, so we can stop the Maxi. Get out of here. I've been wondering, maybe I should play Gamma. That feels like that would add another, um, like, one of in the deck. But there's a chance, you know. Okay, let's get Un Class Barre. Let's go ahead and just dump our level 10 into the graveyard. How you doing, buddy? Grab ourselves the bike. If you thought you were safe from the Super Heavy Samurais, you are wrong. Put this guy here. Summon this. Use this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We add this. And then we're going to turn this into Scarecrow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this still works because we've got the, uh, the motorbike in the graveyard. So we can activate this. Send that to bring back the bike. Oh. I guess we needed to bring back that. Okay, it's fine. Again, there's a lot of quirks in this deck. Mistakes are being made. We can turn the bike to level 4. We can equip. We can summon. Now we've got two level 4s. Yeah, we can definitely do better than this. I think my problem- I forgot this wasn't going to the graveyard. And I forgot that this had to go from the field to the graveyard to get its effect. Oh wait, we're not done yet. I was like, yeah, and then we do this and we're done, but... Oh yeah, we are, because I didn't detach gear frame. Yep, so many little mistakes. Yeah, let's try this. <laughs> We've got Regulus, and we've got Citadel in the graveyard, plus Valor, plus Droll and Lock. Surely that's enough, right? Also, I'm a little too big. Oh, uh, okay. This negates, but doesn't destroy, so you don't want to use it on stuff like field spells. Destruction Sword Memories. Uh, okay, we'll just let them search. Oh, wait, were they searching? Yeah, they add one, and then we can just droll them. There you go. You didn't have to search anymore, right? Special summon this from your hand. All right. Buster Whelp. Okay. Protector Whelp. From your deck to the graveyard. Yeah, we're going to Valor that. And I'm going to save this for the effect in the graveyard. Okay, they're not activating the effect in the graveyard, which is good. Now we can do stuff. Oh, hello, Anchor Drill. How's it going? So, I control a super heavy samurai, so I can add one. Trap trick. Okay. What are you trap tricking for? 
prologue. Uh, yeah, let's get this. Uh, let me read Trap Trick again. You can only activate one trap card for the rest of the turn. Okay, so they can still do this, and that's what we need to stop, I think. One second. Special summon one Buster Dragon. Oh, wait, that's the thing we need to stop. Okay. Yeah, there we go. They have a trap that gets them the synchro, and they can banish a trap to get them the fusion. I knew that both of their traps got them two parts of that combo. And if you don't know about the Buster Dragon stuff, because it's not played that much lately, the fusion says negate the effects of all dragons, and the synchro says all your opponent's monsters are dragons now. <laughs> so if they get both out, you just can't do anything. I think it also shifts you to defense and you can't attack and their fusion gains like a 500 attack for every dragon on the field and in the graveyard. So it's just huge, they can OTK, it's not good. But we were able to stop them, even though we messed up. Okay. I'm going to assume they don't have the... the monster. And I'll Ash the field spell. That's what we do. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not an expert in Evil Eye, but I figured it out. I'm drooling and locking and drooling. Unfortunately, this is like, you know, one of the worst openings. I mean, I could still do stuff. That's unfortunate, but I think I can win from here. They'd get one more draw. I think I'd rather do that next turn. But yeah, we figured out this line. If we get an 8 and a 4, we can hard make Zeus. There we go. Light machines coming out to help. 3,000. And then we can... We've got Droll. We've got Zeus. Hopefully that'll slow them down enough. And then once we have this detached... We can Regulus for Regulus, which is great because it allows us to negate without destroying ourselves on the field. And if we draw any other Earth Machine, then this is off to the races with combos. Ah, I see. Ah, I double see. Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. Both players draw one card. I forgot this was a negate! <laughs> Gold Pride? Yeah, I thought this was just plain old evil eyes. Okay, I hope you don't have to do anything else. You could bamboozle that, but then I'd have my Zeus. They're thinking about it. Oh, can it negate under Droll? That's a really good question. Because we can't draw cards. I think it would still work. I think they just, um, nobody draws. Yeah, let's try it. Might as well. We're gonna have to bait it out one way or another. It looks like they can activate something. No. <laughs> no, they can't activate it because we can't draw cards. They can't replace it with a draw effect because of draw. Regulus equip Regulus. There we go. We did it. We beat the stuff. Let's get it. All right, it's been a lot of back and forth, but we're doing pretty good. We're one away from ranking into Diamond 3, and we just lost the coin toss again. Against someone who's not having a very good day. Can we perhaps just activate a Super Heavy Samurai and have them quit? Possible. Last chance to look at me, Hector. <laughs> this is not just Hector. This is THE Hector. No Hector's stronger than them. Hello. <laughs> they do not know how this deck works. They have made a miscalculation. Tribute off this. This will get us all right. And there we go. The average super heavy experience. They, I, I comboed off for five minutes and they said, this is dumb, and they left.
And there we go. We rank up into Diamond 3. Good enough. Welp. Three hand traps and the one card starter. Or one of 12 one card starters. Tools. Let's get Wakaushi. Let's go ahead and couch ourselves. Go Monkman. Special summon. Yeah, you know what? Let's get this for now. That way we can get the Citadel in the graveyard. We'll bring back this. If they have Nibiru, we won't get in under Nibiru this way, but we'll still get a Barone. While activating, like, everything. The cool thing about this, I'm just realizing, is that even though this doesn't play around Nibiru, like, they can Nibiru right here, because I set up Pendulum Scales beforehand, even though I've used my normal summon, I'm still not dead to Nibiru. Because from here I could Pendulum summon out some stuff and then do things. Okay, so we're gonna activate this on the Soul Piercer. Then we're gonna summon itself. And we're going to activate this. I use the effect, tribute that off. That allows us to get scales. And scales will revive something from the graveyard. What do you know? Another one of these. Then we're gonna make... Go for these two. Get the Ballista. Ballista effect, followed by this effect. Get another one of these. See the box. Box gets me another level four. I remember now. Then we make this. Oh wait, I never got into Machina, did I? Oh, but I still have Citadel in the graveyard from earlier, okay. Now I can Pendulum Shoken. Three. The box. The thing. The Wakaushi. And this search is what allows me to get Brutal Dozer. Now I can make this. We'll go Merrymaker, we'll go into Sargas. Sargas lets us get the second negate. Yeah, we can do this now. And yeah, we don't get the uh, Machina gear frame, so we can't summon it. But we can still do this, which is funny. We equip the bow, and then we use Barone de Floor to destroy it, so that we can get another free search. You know, just for fun. Get another bike in case next turn we need to rebuild. Now we're locked into Earth Machines. The Dozer gets us the Tunneler. We can overlay these. That allows us to get um, the train. So if you were wondering where the train came in, add it to your hand. There is a, a version, if you don't have Barone, you can use that to pop it. Summon the train. These two to make Anger Knuckle. Uh, sure, we'll go ahead and equip this. We could probably trade it back, but I like to have the Raigeki protection. Send that off, summon Citadel. We're gonna go ahead and activate Dora now so we can get this into the graveyard. And then we're gonna use Tunneler. And there we go. This is the best possible board you can produce. We've got... <laughs> We've got a negate. We've got a negate. We've got a towers that can detach to destroy. We've got... And when we do that, this will activate to bounce something. We've got Pendulum Scales for next time, we've got Repeatable for next time, and we've got Valor, Maxi, Ghost Ogre, Ash, and Nibiru. <laughs> Literally the best- I cannot get better than this hand. I better win this one. <laughs> Otherwise, I will look foolish. Uh, yeah, I'll negate that. I have like a billion negates.
called by. Uh, yeah, I'll negate that. I have a billion negates. I would rather have Maxi Resolve. Activate the effect of Barone. I mean, I already used the negate, right? Yeah. Let's shuffle it back and summon... Fuck it. He's got a lot of attack. There we go. But it came back. Oh, if you're Sky Striker and you're going for Ray, uh, this will stop that. Sure, I'll take a thousand life points. Change of heart. Huh. Would that give them a negate? I think it would give them a negate. Sure. I can Veiler my own Regulus, I think. Uh, no. Okay, so they already had Ray. It is before the end of the main phase. Okay. Oh, I can't use Veiler now. Okay, now I'll do this. Gosh darn it, I'm an idiot! <laughs> I keep doing that! Okay, but I could do this. There we go, all right, okay. I done goofed, but I still got it because I made like a billion negates, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, we start with the Wakaoshi. If nothing else, starting with this means there's a chance my opponent just surrenders. Ghost Ogre. Ho ho ho! All right, in that case, do I normal summon this? Yeah. Oh wait, Wakaoshi's a hard once per turn, right? I think in this case I grab this. Okay. Drollin' Lock. All right, I was never winning this game. I can still make Regulus, and that's at least a negate. Wait, no I can't, because I can't search the Regulus. I'm still ending on a Sargass! So if they detach an Ixie material, I can do something. That's my one hope. I play Ghost Ogre as well! Yeah, they already normal summoned. Unless they were holding the Wakaoshi by sniffing out that I had a Ghost Ogre. Hey, there we go! We won the Super Heavy Samurai Mirror Ma People were saying that this was really hard. That, that was pretty easy. We didn't have to worry about anything at all. All right, Hard Hat Joe's at it again for a high stakes match. One of us is getting into Diamond 2. And I'm going second, which doesn't doesn't look great, but I mean we've survived that before. We've got we're playing like four hand traps at three. Our chance of opening like two hand traps is pretty high. Okay, we opened one hand trap. This ash has to go very hard. And they've got 47 cards? That's an interesting number. We've got all the playmakers if we do make it to our turn. Add one Dragon Maid Spell Trap. Sure. I'll stop them from getting the fusion. I don't know Dragon Maid, but I'm pretty sure I don't want them to have that. Alright, they're still gonna get a whole bunch of stuff. But there's a chance I can I can play through like exactly one disruption. Ah, new Dragon Link, even though they got banned. We'll have to see how this goes. This is going to take 37 minutes. Oh, yeah. The question is just what can they end on? Yeah, this I hate that they got a trap that's like, you could summon from the graveyard, and you can pop, and you can recycle spell traps. Yeah, I think this is probably more, more than my body can handle. Okay, let's try this first. 
Alright, let's try this. Yo, what up? Special summon. Activate, bring back the bike. Okay, let's make this level four. Okay, they're gonna destroy it. So there's one thing down. This will probably get the other pop, right? No, they're letting me keep the scale. Next, I activate this on you. Oh no, now they're popping. Ah, they're getting rid of the scale and the monster. No, they've already used this. All they have left is this. If I normal summon this guy, I'm just dead. But if I normal summon this, I can equip and then detach. Yeah. Then we're going to activate. Summon. This is a negate, but it's not a destroy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Okay, we're gonna go for Big Chungo. And then we're gonna search Regulus. They have to negate this. Battle phase. We can attack over this. Main phase two. Big Zeus! Big Zeus! We got a great big old Zeus, zeus in all around. We got a big old Zeus, boy, gonna do the zeus in sound. Activate the Zeus cannon. da dun dun da dun Goodbye. That was a nice board you made. Okay, we did it. We cleared the board. Now the question is, can they come back? Because they have the Bistial search, they have a graveyard full of everything. I do have one more Zeus, and they have half their extra deck. But, you know, we navigated it. We made our way through. Yeah, and Gear Frame is full combo next turn, if we can survive. We don't even necessarily, like, even if they can build something, as long as we, like, even if they clear the Zeus, as long as we can stop them from building another negate. They did put back the Link 1. So they get this. That gets them her Red Eyes. They can summon the Red Eyes, and then I think I have to Zeus. Either that, no. What they do is they summon the, the one Bistial that clears everything, and then if they have a Link 2, they can make that, and that forces out the Zeus. And then they have the Red Eyes. All right. Ah, they can just bring that back, can they? Yeah, and I can't respond to that. I didn't know they just had a one card thing to bring this back. A sad state of affairs. We almost got him. Alright, here we are. Knocking a diamond two once again. This is like the fifth time we've been here and I, I'm really starting to get tired. And uh, we just got a ghost ogre. Well, shit. Uh, I hate branded. This is not branded. Just need to top deck another starter card, preferably Wakaushi or the bike. Hello. 
Wait, I think that's the thing I ghost ogre, right? Because it stops them from getting another thing on board. Choo choo! Chugga 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 chugga. I'm chugging. I'm chugging along. I'm chugging. I'm singing a song. I'm doing all the things that you want to chug. Doing all the things like I'm wearing a jug. Okay. Yeah, we just do this. Scarecrow. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll activate the bike. Wakaoshi. Mike Wakaoshi. All right, Regulus. Surprise. Points. I like this because it turns its effect into negate one card and then search one super heavy samurai. Let's get this one, yeah. Uh, activate. Another one. Let's go for this. Because I can't negate the Boral End anyway. Oh, I summoned this in the way wrong zone. Shit. Let's add... You! It's the Boral End of the world as we know it. Anger Knuckle. This also gets rid of that so I can do the thing. Yeah, itself. Hello. Nice to meet you. I will at least get in for 2,000 damage. You cannot stop me. Oh, uh, yeah. Just going to pop this. Then we're going to make love. Here comes the love train, the love train. People all over the world are join hands. Um, yeah, we just go for Big Zeus. Tack over this. I thought it couldn't be destroyed or targeted. All right, we threaten Zeus. They have to negate this, right? Yeah, is that a permanent negate? Do I have anything else that gets rid of that? I don't think I do. Yeah, Borland's just too strong. Run him over, I already did! Were you not paying attention? Can you target it? No. Yeah, I should have saved the Zeus and tried to bait out something else. At this point, my win condition is timeout. Oh! Well, you know what, chat? <laughs> Sometimes heaven gives you what you wish. Sometimes you keep comboing and they run out of time. <laughs> From the jaws of defeat, I grasp the victory. And I feel like I earned it this time. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and add that on there. I have no idea how the editor's gonna show that. Good luck, man. All right, machines and machinas, here we are. The sixth stream, our final chance to make it into Master. And we're still in Diamond 2. I didn't get to play in the intervening time because I was not feeling well. And I'm still not 100%, but I am feeling better. So we're going to take this opportunity, try to do a little extra long stream, and see if we can at least push ourselves into Master. Get to that final rank before things end out for the month.
Now, as far as the deck, we're still playing the same thing we were before. It hasn't changed. It's Earth Machines with super heavy samurais. You know the drill. Now, something that has changed is that in the intervening time, we had a theme chronicle. A little festival, got to get some gems, that's why I'm back up to 4,000. But more importantly, I've made it to proficiency level 7. If you missed the previous episode, we were climbing through the ranks of the proficiency exam, but we got hardwalled on the practical exam of level 7 because you had to fusion summon three times, and we were playing a deck that just did not fusion at all. So I managed to make a fusion deck that worked for the theme chronicle. You can see that over on Raw Hardleg, which is the, the VOD archive channel, if you really want to see me playing that while, while not feeling all too well. But the point is... We're now on level 8, and we get to do the academic exam, and we can we can win 10 RVs gift cards, oh boy. So let's go ahead, before we jump into things, and just do a little test. Let's see if we can get 5 of 8 questions right, and begin. Question 1. What is the name of this card? It's Rabby, he's up on that stump again. Purple Poison was on the field and destroyed and sent to the extra deck face up. The effect of Purple Poison states that this card was destroyed. Target one face up card and destroy it. When the opponent activates Solemn Strike in response to the activation of this effect, which is the correct way to handle Purple Poison magic Magician? Um, negate the activation or summon. Okay, so this doesn't have a hard once per turn. I know it's sent to the graveyard if it gets negated in the extra deck. And the effect can be used again because it's not a hard once per turn. Correct. A. Which mate is given as a reward for activating trap card a thousand times? It's the crown, right? Yeah. Okay. Question number four. What mode is one higher than diamond? It does not exist! Oh, it's master. Question five. What is the name of this card? Valence Buster Baron. Never mind. I thought I would know this one. Excuse me. Which card can't be targeted by Dimensional Barrier? Link? I think it targets, but yeah, I get it. In the Legend of the Starry Dragon, when is Starry Knight said to descend? When you see a shooting star? When the angels pray. Okay, I don't know the lore ones. In Worshippers, what form did Neftis the Sacred Phoenix assume after the catastrophe settled? Uh, Cerulean. Never mind, it's the Sacred Preserver. Did I get eight? Okay. I got exactly five out of the eight. I didn't know the lore ones, but it's fine. Okay, what's our practical exam this time? Ritual, Pendulum, and Link. Well, I'll see you next month, and we can try again then. It'll be a while before we get... I mean, we'll probably link. It's a pity we didn't get the ritual one beforehand. That'll be... that'll be a while. We'll come back to this eventually. No. Of course, they can bring back this and then do other stuff, but you can only activate Wakaushi once per turn. Yeah, one ogre doesn't stop them, but it should slow them down. Alright, Baguska pass. That's not unbeatable. Well, we'll see. Let's try this. Make ourselves a link. Hope they don't have Ghost Ogre. Effect Veiler. That's like Ghost Ogre, but with fundamental differences. But at least it leaves us with a monster on board. So we can equip this. Send it off. Oh, you got Ash too? Well, fuck me, I guess. I got one hand trap, they got two. Going for Wakaushi again. Another one. <laughs> pop, pop! <laughs> now you can't shift this back to defense. Of course, I have to draw something I can summon. A summon would be nice. 
All right, come on. I've got a lot of starters. I've got a lot of I got a lot of stuff. I forgot about Zeus. Oh, there goes my hopes and dreams. Now that that's probably the best thing it could have been. Summon. You want to send it off, boyo? Go ahead and Zeus. No? Okay. Anyway, Brutal Dozer. We'll get this. Yeah. Activate. Activate. And I'm locked into Earth Machines. But maybe they don't know that, chat. And then we'll summon this. Hello there. Okay, let's go ahead and storm the rivers. You wanna give me that search? I'ma get a search. I'ma search all night long. Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. All right, battle phase. They don't know I can't Zeus. They're like, I gotta do this now or they're gonna get a Zeus. Oh wait, no, never mind. They're doing the, the, the second secret effect. They know, yeah. Ouch, my most of me. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have done this in main phase one and I forgot. Yeah! <laughs> Victory from the jaws of defeat! All right, so, so far things have not been going very well today. We've done about six duels and we've lost five of those. We've only won one duel, which you just saw. The other ones didn't turn out too well, partially because half the decks we faced are Labyrinth and our hand traps don't do anything against that. And then the other half, we run into these problems where we get the hand traps, we stop them from playing, and then we don't open any of our one card starters. We were playing 41 cards. There's no other starters we could add in. So we're just going down to 40. And then we've replaced the effect veilers with ghost bells. These should be good against both the super heavy samurai stuff and it can stop labyrinth. It would be nice if we could get rid of these, try some other stuff out, but uh, you know, that's how master duel is. So we've made some slight changes, not enough to make another version of the deck, but I'll call this 8.7. Let's see if this fixes things a bit. Mmm, a whopper. Mmm, a hungry. This. Control, okay. I think I can still make Barone from this position. No, I can't. I needed to get the other one. Wait, yeah. For a second I was like, I guess I just end it there. Yeah, let's see if they get the shame concede. But there was none. And this was the day that the Whopper learned that Droll and Lockbird affects both players. Do I just Pendulum Summon this so I have another search on their turn? No, I got two starters this way. I just gotta hope that this can beat four cards. Great sleep material. Glad I can help. Uh, yeah, this is the easiest Barone of my life. Oh, it isn't, it isn't Scareclaw. Well, I'm boned. You know, since I planned to go late today, chat, I was thinking maybe I'd cook up some dinner. I was planning to wait a little bit, but now seems like a pretty good time, right? Yeah, go ahead. I'll go get everything started. Hey, where'd my Barone go? I needed that. Oh, Reichphobia, okay. Cooking stream, I can't bring the camera into the other room. Oh, I thought I was dead. I thought I was just dead and all they did was make Barone and Sprite Elf. I can, I can I can get past that, most likely, unless they have another Droll and another Maxi. 
Yeah, let's start by... Let's not let them know we have a Wakaoshi. Normal salmon. What does that do? Anything? Okay. Go for this. It's the easiest negate of your career. Go ahead, buddy. Face up tumors, destroy, target, special summon it. Yeah, is this a disruption in any way? They're just walling up. Oh, okay. I wonder if I can get to the train. Probably not. Uh, I might be able to. It ain't gonna be easy, but I could do it. Yeah, let's activate this. Go for this. Fuck it, if they haven't max seed yet, now is the time. All right, all right, all right. That's what I like to see, baby. I had a Wakaoshi the whole time. Pendulum. Grab another one of these. Uh, I have to use this now. Yeah. My oven's going! Special summon from the deck. Yeah, this one. We'll do this. Uh, I'm gonna make a rank 4, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one. Claspy boy. Oh, I just realized we have no way to get to the other thing. Shit. Oh, we're still good. I'll grab you. Here's what we're gonna do, chat. We're going to crash this into Baroque. That'll summon the Citadel. Citadel's gonna get in for some damage. Then Citadel's gonna clear the rest of the field. Then we're gonna hit for this. We're gonna hit for this. Main phase two. It's a motherfucking Zeus! Light machines and earth machines. Okay. Play through a double Zeus and a Regulus. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna negate that. Well, shit. I didn't expect that. The last one. The last Wakaoshi. Yeah, it's not destroyed, right? End phase. I have to end this with an Earth Machine, chat. Who says we're not an Earth Machine deck? Normal summon the bike. Attack for 800. Earth Machines! I guess I should have done the thing there. Usually they do other stuff first. Like activate Oak Dragon. Yeah, that's fine. Is that a carrot horse? It's a radish horse. Bagoo! I wonder why they use this. Wouldn't you want to leave that on field to like destroy my stuff? Uh, I can stop Bagoo. Okay. This here, Wakaoshi says hello, we'll grab you, activate this, we'll just grab another, oh we'll grab a bike, vroom vroom, bike go fast, give me another Wakaoshi, I am not negated, why would I be negated? We'll activate the Samurai. Let's equip this to here. Unequip. And 
then we'll go ahead and make, um, we'll make a genius. Hello, it's me. Let's go ahead and grab our soul horns. And then genius can just be like, yeah, we'll negate you and Bagoo. Welcome to being negated. I hope you enjoy. And then we'll, then we just do our plays from here. You know? We just have a fun time. Although we can't do the combo because we had to use Cliff or Genius, which kind of sucks. Oh, uh, we'll just grab a bike. Pendulum scale. Yeah. You and the bike. I'm not locked into machines yet, right? I'm locked into machines. Oh wait, no, um... I gotta make this level 4. I am- I'm still locked into machines. I don't know what I did, but I fucked it up a little bit. We'll just do this, we'll add ourselves a Sargass. And then be like, hey, normal summon. I have not yet begun to combo! If you thought the combos were over, they are just beginning. Earth machine, Earth machine, Earth machine. Yeah, cause then we can detach this, grab ourselves, I don't know, shovel? I like shovel. And that will trigger Sargas, who will, we need to get rid of the, Spellcaster, so we can't do stuff with it. Activate this. Point. Hello there. And just because it wasn't enough, let's discard the Citadel to summon the Machina Fortress. Hello. My name is Big, and I am Big. I am pretty sure this is an OTK. It's not a train, but it's more than enough. And there you go. That's what I wish we would do. We just very rarely do it. Usually there are hand traps involved. All right. So if you haven't noticed from that last duel, uh, we got knocked down into Diamond 3 a while ago, and we've been kind of stuck there. Uh, we're already hitting overtime. I was really hoping we would get into Master, but it has just been... A cavalcade of horrors this time. We're either bricking on stuff, the wrong hand traps, not enough starters, bad matchups, losing coin tosses. Things are just not going our way. So I'm going to try one more build, Mark 9. And basically what we've done is we've taken out the, the two extra regulus. I don't think that's helping us. Theoretically, the idea with that was that if we opened it and we had like a motorbike or something that we could get in the gate before we started comboing, but we're not even getting to that point. So instead we've put another starter, we're putting a Harvester back in here. It's not great because the combo where you go into River Stormer isn't as good as the other combos, but it is still something if we get like ashed. We still lose hard to Droll and Lock and there's nothing we can do about that, but we're just gonna try it. And then as far as hand traps, because we keep getting doubles somehow, or we like maxi and then we get into doubles, we're playing like two of each. This also helps sort of insulate us a little better against the random assortment of decks we've been playing. You know, sometimes Ghost Bell is really good, sometimes it's useful. Same with Effect Veiler, same with Ogre. So we're just gonna play them all at two, and then we have a chance to get some interaction and just hope that it's the one we need for the duel we need. It's pretty cope, but uh, that's, that's where we're at. Let's try it, Mark 9. All right. Let's start with this. See if we can wakouch them first. Wakow! Okay, got that droll? No. Okay, this is actually a really weird way to do the combo. But it's good that we get to show this off. So it's weird because we started with Regulus, so we didn't even go through the one line. But... We can summon the gear frame. Hello there. 
We can use the Dora, detach the Citadel, target itself. Now that the Citadel's in the graveyard, Baron de Fleur can blow up the gear frame. And that will revive the Citadel, so we'll have it live without having to pop anything. So we got a negate, a negate, a destruction, and a field wipe. Plus, draw two. Now I'll activate my Pot of Greed! Shuffle back all five extra deck monsters. Oh my god! Okay, well sometimes the Pot of Greed doesn't work very well, but you know... Oftentimes it does! We've got so many hand traps! Alright, what do you got? I still want to be cautious. That's a monster, it searches in the end phase, 2500, doesn't get over anything. I am fine with that. I don't need the claspy boys. Yeah, I think I need to stop that. Anything that lets them special summon from the deck is not good. Ah, unfortunate. Yeah, I've got to negate that. That's all my negates. I've got a pop and a board wipe. A branded spell trap. Gee, Billy. And now they get to branded fusion. Fantastic! I'll be on the asshole dragon. If we made Barone unaffected... They would steal the Citadel and pop everything else. I think this is still better. Yeah. Interesting choice. Yeah, you still going. Oh, okay, good. Everything worked out, and I am unaffected, although now they get the bis... But if I had negated earlier, I would be even more screwed, you know? Um, that's not bad. Okay, let's bike. Go, go, motorbike. Getting all the things that you want to strike. We'll pendulum scale it up. Scale it up. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, Shokan? Yeah. You, you, you. Go, box! Show them the meaning of haste! We'll get this. Oh, now I know what to do. Let's make a springy do. Well, hello there. Wait, I don't have another... I don't have another Regulus anymore. Oh, wait, this is fine, actually. I got a plan. Yeah, we're gonna change this to attack. Rail cannon. Normal summon. Get the fortress! We're just gonna take an overwhelming force approach. You can't kill me, I'm too powerful! 1,000. Uh, 1,800. All right, there goes the Druus Worm. Continue the attack? Yes. Thank you. I'm glad you summoned it in attack mode. If you didn't summon an attack, I might have had some trouble. Let's do 4,000. Who you picking? I feel like it doesn't matter who you pick. Okay, that was the good choice if you had to make one, but we have exact game! Perfectly navigated! Ooh! I wish we were in Master or something. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, let's just try this combo. This is the one I know. It's like a 37 step combo, so it ain't easy.
I'm almost there. Give me a second. <laughs> Okay, now you're good. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Maxi? If they Dark Ruler no more, I'm gonna be sad. We'll allow it. Oh, it's you. They don't care about Maxi. Okay, how many traps could they realistically set? End phase. Activate this. We'll discard the Dare Crane. Yeah. End phase, pop two cards with two more negates. I feel shame. I'm sorry. I, I can't, I can't like feel good about that victory. I spent literally 40 minutes comboing, but that's, that's, that's the best Earth Machine can do! Is this what you wanted, chat? Are you happy? <laughs> oh, I did rank rank back up into Diamond 2. So at least there's there's that. Let's we'll keep trying to get the master, but I don't I don't know. It, my heart's not in it. I feel like the bad guy. Yep, if they got Ash or Infirm, I'm fucked. Maxi is fine though, you got Maxi? Hey, that's what I like to hear. I drew both the ashes. It's very rare we do this form of the combo these days. It does not play around Nibiru. It cannot, because now I'm locked into machines. Gear Gigante! The bike says hello! I was Super Heavy Samurai's all along. E sure, that's probably enough. I think I got enough stuff here. We didn't get the Baron negate, but I mean, we're doing pretty good. Okay. Special summon. Lingaribo. Ah, I see. I don't need to. Let's just do this now. Let's Valor that. Detach this. Pop that. Pop that. Nambler. Ash. Yep, I had I had more negates than they had cards. Didn't even regular standing there the whole time, just like, go ahead. Go ahead. Use that last card. See what happens. All right, it has been a long, hard day, and we're we're still just getting into into Diamond One, but we're on a win streak. If we could just push our way into Diamond One, we got two hand traps. We've got two ways to get into full combo. We just gotta hope this slows them down enough. Ah. Uh... I don't think we could beat this. Too much gas. They do have their their deck is like all gas. <coughs> Splash Mage. I have to Valor <coughs> the Mage, right? Well, at least I won't get hit by Italy. Oh wait. Yeah, I can do it with, uh, Ghost Bell. End of the main phase? Ladies and gentlemen! 
I don't want to get too excited, but I'm starting to feel a little excited. Really, it's just Maxi I'm worried about, but even then we might be able to OTK them through it. Alright, uh, I think we go for this? Yeah. And that's when we're like, surprise. I already had it. I already had him! There's the Maxi. We learned last time, we just gotta try to push through it. What's the fastest way to OTK with this deck? I thought I hit the normal summon button. That is unfortunate. Okay. Let's try this. Yeah, we go for this guy. Activate this, and you get the Wakaushi back this way, right? No, I think we need to make the Barone first. If we make the Barone, we can still do stuff. Let's go for the Barone without using our normal summon. Okay, make you up four. Let's see if we can make ourselves a little less scared of Russia. Alright, Barone Insurance Guaranteed. Or not, I'm sorry, not Barone. Nibiru! Nibiru Insurance Guaranteed! And they've already ashed. Yeah, and then we make the, um... I didn't open with the box, did I? Okay, good. Ballista! Do, 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 do. Uh, Wakaushi. Wakao! Ox get the level 4. Uh, then we scale. I haven't normal summoned yet. I want to make this 0 is the thing. Because then I can... I can probably OTK either way. Yeah. Let's normal summon this. Make the genius. Our pendulum Shokan. You and you. Give me the tools. This gets us to it, yeah? Yeah. Uh, and just to be double super safe. Get Regulus. Activate the Regulus. Then we can do this. Uh, is this just game here? Do I even need to go further? Yeah, I mean, I could just end it here, right? I was, like, trying to get to the train, but I don't really need the train. I guess I could be extra super safe. Yeah, this is 10,000 through it, and I don't want to blow it up now. Yeah, I'd rather just beat over it in battle. Because if they have, um, psi frames or whatever... Ooh. Alright, now it's not game. can continue my main phase. Yes. Um, I have 83. Now I blow this up? Yes! Take that! You can't stop me, Maxi! We will eat through your every Nibiru and rank our way into Diamond one way or another. Whew. Okay. Five more wins to master. Can we do it? It's already late. We're gonna try. And hopefully, hopefully, we can end off getting at least to Master 5. All right, machines and machinas. 
We have gone on a win streak. We have gotten all the way up here, mostly by virtue of people like just immediately surrendering when I opened up the uh, the Super Heavy Samurai combo. We're one win away. Can I get it? This is a combo, but it's not great. Let's try this. Go Machina Force. We're against Branded, which is good. 60 card deck, not the most, um, not likely to get me with something like Nibiru. Let's try this, they've got the Maxi. Okay, we've got the Ash. Did you open up with the, uh, the Gamma in the 50 cards? Or 60 cards? Yeah, 60 cards. Okay, Maxi minigame can complete. We can actually play Yu-Gi-Oh. Go here. Activate, send that to the graveyard, make ourselves the boy, the earth machine, gear, gigant X. He's got little gears hiding in his chest. It's kind of, this guy's kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, detach this, and then we show our true power level. Yo, what up? Did you know these were Earth Machines all along? Let's get Wakaushi. And now we get to Samurai Combo every which way! Getting into Master of the Backup Surrenders! We did it, we did it! We got there at last! Oh, it was such a grind through all of Diamond, and by the time you get to Diamond 1, People actually know just to give up. <laughs> They're as tired as I am. <laughs> and with that, ladies and non-ladies, we reached the conclusion of this episode. In the end, we were barely able to squeak our way into Master 5, and to be honest, I'm not sure if that's a rank to be proud of or disappointed in. Partially because Earth Machine is just a strange beast, and partially because this month was a strange month, both for me personally and for Master Duel in general. Just full of contradictions. Like, there's no shortage of Earth Machine fans, and they've made whole spreadsheets full of combos. But despite that, there's very little agreement on what the best build is. Probably because there's just so many Earth Machines, and new ones keep getting released every couple months, which makes it hard to settle on anything for any length of time. Even then, I had tons of people offering assistance this month. I want to give a special shout out to Peeps for taking the time to explain the deck in detail. It's just that unfortunately, I wasn't feeling well for a lot of this month, and thus I couldn't make the best use of that advice. Just wasn't thinking clearly enough to do it. And as for Master Duel itself, I expected the release of Super Heavy Samurai to easily propel Earth Machine into Master, but I came upon the same problem I faced in the Tier Limit episode, which is that whenever a single deck dominates the meta, everyone builds their deck specifically to fight it, which means I was inundated with a tidal wave of Drollin Lockbird and Ghost Ogres that just hard countered a bunch of my plays. What I'm trying to say is, for every upside this month, there was a downside. And in the end, I'm not sure if those downsides excuse the ranking I got, or if I should have done better because I had so many darn upsides. <laughs> I suppose it'll be up for you all to judge. Let me know down in the comments. For now though, it's the end of the month and the end of the episode, which means it's time to think like an engineer and look over our statistics for January of 2024. I ended up playing 158 duels with Earth Machine and made it to Master 5. We won 87 of those duels and lost 71, which gives this deck an overall win rate around 55%. This just slightly edges out our coin toss percentage, which I guess makes sense considering our ability to OTK. We went through nine builds during our time before ending on the super heavy earth machine list behind me, which contains 19 common cards, six super rare cards, and 30 ultra rare cards. I spent 17,000 gems on this month's deck which would cost about $248 if you bought them all of the store at the standard price. 
Finally, all of this would not have been possible without 401 awesome patrons who help support the channel. 31 of those patrons donated $25 or more this month, so I'd like to take a moment to thank them personally. Their names are Davon Crushin, Cat Monarch, Frankly, I'm a Person, Shadow1317, Austin Glover, Chris W, Ya Boy Slurp, Barbarians Are Us, Boomer Noob, Clockswork, Dallas Visagi, Default Titan 97, Dancing Joker, Elance, Emperor Lelouch, Inge Magnus, Jeff M, JJ Squirtle, Kesos the Black Talon, Koro, MBT Yu Gi Oh, Nathan, Naw Dog the Razor, Quintingent, RNA, not DNA, Sanguine Strawberry, Spooky, Taylor, Tengen Tapa Bob Ross, and Viscount Billy Esquire. If you'd like to join them, there's a Patreon link down in the description. Just $1 gets you on the Discord, $25 gets your names in the credits, and for $10, you can get a special role that allows you to vote on what deck I play next. Speaking of which, next time on Ladder Climb, I have no idea what I'm doing, because I'm going to be taking a month off for some rest and relaxation, so it'll be a surprise. You like surprises, right? Like this! Ain't that a thing?